Well, hey everybody, how's it going? Oh my god! That was a psych out intro for Kyle because I didn't. It was. Really do I'm that. totally thrown off right now. I thought I had at least one more second, so. <laughs> at least you're gonna catch your composure. Uh, so this is Enter Tournament of Champions podcast, the podcast where we take our favorites in uh, primarily movies and gaming, and uh, we put them against each other in a tournament. Uh, this is the end. Still, we're doing a year in review type of recap for 2017, and we're doing top 10 video games of last year. My list is gonna trigger the masses. I am. We're not. So we're excited. not doing a debate on this though, right? No. No. God. Yeah, there's no way. God. Yeah, no. I was gonna say. I was like, <laughs> that would. I don't want to do that. <laughs> is this your the only debate if we to are, have? We're not doing it anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. The only debate to have, and it's not even a debate, is uh, is this one of the best years of gaming that we've been alive for? I say yes. Is it a debate? I don't think it is. It just yeah. the answer is yes. Yeah, the answer is just yes. <laughs> top ten, at least top five, maybe. Uh, top two. For sure. <laughs> top two. Probably the top one. We're just going know. there. We're just going to go there. You know what? Top one. <laughs> prob- prob- maybe. I don't know. Who's don't to say? Know. I don't know. Who's to say? You know what? Let's let's have a debate about it. Fuck the list. Let's, let's yeah. have a debate. 2017 or 2004. I don't know why I picked 2004. That was a joke year. I just uh, uh, threw yeah, out there. I don't even remember what came out that year. So I don't either. <clears throat> I don't even think I owned a console at that point in my life. My God. I had a, par- I had a social life at that point in my life so that i did too in my from the age of 20 to like 26 wasn't gaming a lot i was still gaming just not a lot man like way more than you like obviously so, but like yeah, you know i was if you weren't gaming as much then i definitely wasn't gaming period yeah that's fair <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was out getting trashed you know i was out there being a teen you know in my 20s because that's what our generation was yeah with, and it's children being a teen so. in your 20s <laughs> yeah that's playing a <laughs> yeah. life <laughs> it is. It is. I mean, I'm not even being, I'm not even trying to be funny. It's seriously. Yeah. Uh, so we're, yeah, like I said, we're just doing top ten, uh, 2017 video games this episode. And uh, before we hit our number one, we'll round up our honorable mentions. I do have right. some like mentions that just don't qualify for 2017, like they were re-released or some shit. Do you have some of those? Uh, I could easily pull up some of those. Okay. Uh, I have a list right here. Yep. I only have two. Uh, one of them is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um, amazing yeah uh, incredible yeah. i couldn't get enough of that fucking game it was yeah, so the game good. is hd and looks beautiful yep and that was the game where like my brother and i occasionally have these gaming nights where he comes over and we just switch consoles and switch games all the time and it's just a fucking game of palooza yeah and nice. uh, that was the one we played the most we just kept going maybe we should try this one now you know we kept wanting to try every battle mode and stuff and uh the good ones we just kept going back to yeah uh it's man that's a that's a fucking the tracks in that game, game are awesome like yeah the, they are the racing tracks. yeah they're cool yeah they're really cool uh and so you played that one i assume a lot um, <clears throat> i did yep was that a launch title for the switch or was close to it right it was pretty close yeah yeah and the other one i had is marvel heroes omega only it's disqualified because it was on pc first and omega is just like a, hey here's a console version and four and, went out because it's no longer with us yeah so. exactly <laughs> The game came out in 2017 and died in 2017. Yeah, right. <laughs> it, which is a real bummer because that yeah. game's awesome. The game is fun, dude. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't end up playing it online with anybody. I didn't know how that worked, really. Like, occasionally I'd run into people, but then there's a point where, like, I people would, couldn't follow me anymore, like, in missions Yeah, or it, well, it, that's classic MMO. It's things called instant-based missions, so that means, yeah. like... Uh, Whenever you start up a mission, it loads you into your own world that no one can mess with. Okay. You and your group, you know. Yeah. But then, like the hub areas are like where everyone kind of conglomerate, you know. Can it was it was pretty rad. Stuff. Like I started with Hulk or whatever, and I'm just running around like beating the shit out of bad guys, and I'm joined by all these other heroes. Some of them also Hulks. <laughs> like yeah. all these other heroes just start coming up and ganging up on bad guys. Like it was like no sweat for me. Like I just. Yeah, I, I like how they anything. explain away like the duplicate characters. They're like, yeah, uh, the space time's messed up, you know. <laughs> Just fucking don't I'm worry. Like, really? About it. That's what? That's that's how you're gonna explain it? Yeah, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, that's, I buy that. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun game. I just. Uh... There were a lot of things that were distracting about this year, and uh, it'll be evident in my list. Uh, do you have any others that were kind of like? Remasters? I have like a list of ten, so I'm just gonna rattle them off real quick. Okay. Uh, Final Fantasy XII. Mm-hmm. Kingdom Hearts Collection. That's one and two, and all the little knickknack games in between. That's the one I should get, probably. <clears throat> probably, yeah. Uh, Yakuza Kiwami. Oh, nice. Dragon's Dogma: Dark Arisen. Mm-hmm. And Dot Hack Gu Last Record. I know you were playing that one recently, right? That was a recent Still release. Playing it, yeah, I'm uh, playing the fuck out of that game. Yeah. It's really good. Oh, are we allowed to say fuck? Um, <laughs> Definitely, don't be a retard. You can say fuck. I've been <laughs> guessing a lot on po- other. <laughs> I've been guessing a lot on other podcasts lately where we're not yeah. allowed to cut. So you know. 
No, yeah, I gotta, uh, this is where I insert a baby noise going, hey, or whatever the fuck that is on fuck Father's Day. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> We're marked explicit. Feels good. Because I, I, I knew we couldn't help ourselves. It's just not no. fair to us. No, it's not. Oh, uh, whatever. It's fine, though. Sponsored fine. by, hey, I, I, the fucking the sensor button. Um, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, did you have others? That's it. That's it. All right, cool. Oh, and I should get this off my chest now before there's a mutiny, before I finish my list and people go, what the fuck? Zelda's not in my list. I want people to know that. I, you didn't play enough of it. Exactly. Thank you. I'm glad you weren't like, what? Like, because, <laughs> you know no. what I mean? Um, because I made what a couple things in your list or whatever, and you made what a few things in mine, uh, just like you that. what anything in my list, it, it's over. All right? <laughs> <laughs> I I made what an omission or two. Uh, do you like how I say it in that pitch every time? Yeah, I, uh, if you could only do it in that pitch, that'd be great. <laughs> I did put it in my honorable mentions because it is a monumental game and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, come on, like. If I put it in my list, it would it would just be like completely a big one, just giant lie. Like, yeah, I actually uh, would have chosen something. Ah, we'll get there. Never mind. Don't worry about it. We'll get oh, there. Okay. We'll okay. get there on my list. I was about to just like divulge my like top three games. Like, <laughs> I was gonna put this at number one, but this ended up being. Why would I do that? Yeah, we're why building. Would you, why would you remove the suspense? It's like we're, this is a memento, man. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Yeah, do it. Start with your number ten, Jeff. <laughs> um, your number one. It's funny that you knew the order before I was going to say it. Uh, normally, JD would be sandwiched between us in the, in the order for this episode, but he uh, he played like Super Mario Odyssey, and I think that was it. So uh, okay. that, just trust that that would be his 10, his yeah. entire 10. 1 through 10, Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> JD, you're number 10, Super Mario Odyssey. What the fuck? It's so low. And then number one, Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I am first and you're second. Uh, that's the order of this episode. So, uh, okay. So my number 10, oh, man. Cue the triggered gifts. It's Star Wars Battlefront 2. Why would you ever support an EA game, Jeff? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I felt I, uh, when I was going through my list, this is a last minute and uh, insertion, if you want to call it that. Uh, insertion is also just a fun word to say because it conjures it all these images in your head. Um, insertion. Uh, when I wanted to play this game, I bought it and I inserted it, uh, mm. creating a very... Um, incredible insertion vacuum uh, in my ps4 <laughs> i keep saying okay. insertion as much as possible yeah, in this episode. get it all out man get it all out now. <laughs> anyway it is a last minute one i added because when i compared it to all the other honorable mentions like i just had more to say in defense of this game than the other ones um it, specifically it's campaign because i listened to uh the podcast that kyle was on and I mean, it was three against one, so you weren't going to be like, yeah, man, you guys are fucking wrong, and then have oh, them yeah. on you. What did, what did they say where it's just like it's just the multiplayer matches in the campaign? I'm like, no, that's not, that's not right at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, they said the, they did say the campaign was like trash or something, and that's like my favorite part of the game was like the campaign. Me too. I, I, Me too. I mean, I thought it really took you cool places, and it was what I wanted out of a campaign so for a Battlefront game. So much fan service. Good fan yeah. service. I know that, like, words mean different things nowadays. Like, mm -hmm. casual means bad and whatever, but, like, fan, fan service means awful. No, like, this was, like, good. Like, I got to see, and this is not a spoiler. It's just maybe a locational spoiler, so whatever. Yeah. You get to see Leia on Naboo. That's big. She's yeah. on her home planet that she's never stepped foot on. It's huge. Yeah, that's pretty it's awesome. It's big. Why are people not talking about that? No, I want to talk about how microtransactions ruin this game instead. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> you and I have the same emotions uh, towards microtransactions where we're just like, okay, yeah, I don't like microtransactions, so I'm not going to partake in them. Like, yeah, just, I just don't participate. Yeah. And I know that people are, well, it creates an unfair advantage on multiplayer. And I'm like, yeah, that's good for the people that buy them. I mean, that's, yeah. that's the well, perk. And what my stance on that always is, is there always is one for me because mm -hmm. I don't play these games a lot. Uh, so I'm always lower level than everybody without all the unlocks. So I'm always fighting against all these people who have prestige and have everything unlocked and yeah. are twice my level. Like, so what? Like, I'm always unequipped. I don't care. It doesn't, nothing has changed for me. So right. it doesn't bother it's me. It's not all. really different than any other game. It's just more at the forefront because it does feel like, um, like loot boxes and stuff. It just feels more present. Like the whole fact yeah. that you're doing a microtransaction and that you're like kind of like gambling a little bit. Um, I mean, but Destiny 2 has a variation of that too. So, I mean, it's not really... It's, I mean, that's not it's not really fair to just single out this one game for being guilty of this, in my sure. opinion. Sure, sure. 
Uh, but whatever, like I said, hashtag triggered. That's what this uh, entire list is all about is triggering people. Uh, but I did love the campaign. I thought it was really cool, the places that it took you to, especially um, in the the last, I guess you'd call it third, not the last third, including the DLC, the last third that's in the game that's not DLC, um, where you're, uh, it's the Jakku, the Battle of Jakku. And like you keep flying somewhere else and landing and you're in the midst of this giant battle like every time you, you land. Such a good level. Yeah, yeah it's a great level. Um man that 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 set those <coughs> those giant set pieces alone really fucking like cemented it as like oh okay this game is actually really good and people are just kind of mad about the approach by ea which makes <laughs> i mean they're not entirely like unfounded for being uh you know uh, for being criticized um but like the raging i just don't i just don't agree with the rage <laughs> like that's the thing i wouldn't rage out about it i would criticize it but I wouldn't be like, oh, fuck, uh, fuck EA and fuck this game. You know, like, it's just not. That's the, I, I think that people don't know what the difference is. There mm-hmm. is a difference between raging out about something and criticizing something. Yeah. You can choose to not do one. Right. <laughs> and choose to do the other. It doesn't have to be an extreme. It's all a choice. So when yeah. you're acting like a jackass who's screaming about video games online about this and that. And I've been there, man. We're passionate about it. I yeah. get it, man. I can still call you stupid, though. You know? <laughs> like, <laughs> You know, just like think about like how that's coming off. Like you just sound like a lunatic. You know what I mean? Like you're right. screaming about video games. You know, like you that's you, insanity. you sound like a lunatic. You yeah, know, exactly. like reel it in a little bit, criticize it, but don't scream about it. Because you know? then people can come back with, well, "You should probably get a life," and they're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, I've been told that so many times, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's especially good. me too. Like, I mean, all I post about on my personal Facebook page, Twitter, whatever, uh, is movies, and so obviously people think that too. Like this fucking guy. I know, yeah, it just really does. <laughs> uh, I thought it was cool, though. I didn't even venture into the multiplayer all that much because I suck. Uh, so we I know it's on. cool. It's rad. Get on together. Uh, you, we should get on together? Is that what you just yeah, said? Yeah, play, and play some of the multiplayer, yeah. Oh, okay. you're, on, you're on PS4, right? Yeah, yeah. Everybody in my house has it, so we can have we could squad up like pretty quick. Oh, yeah, cool. And then I remember playing the first one, and Mark, <laughs> Mark's so funny. Our buddy Mark, for everybody that uh, listens. Uh, when, whenever we play and he's like, oh, I'm dying guys, come over here. And we're like all sep- like scattered, like, yeah, yeah. We're, we're all fucking yeah, dying, dude, dude. Yeah, we're all doing our own thing right now. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't be dying. You know? <laughs> oh, guys, die left. over here, gotta help me, I'm about to die. <laughs> oh, God, no, I'm dying too. That's... <laughs> yeah. Hey, not, not doing too much better over here, bud. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's the name of the game is that you die a lot in Battlefield. Yeah, especially when you're not good, which yeah. that's me. <laughs> I, I still think it's rad that they can just plug you into things and there's a, a whole lot of shit going on with actual players behind the controller. Uh, mm-hmm. Like, I don't know what the highest number is of players. Is it like 16 on 16 or something? Uh, it it's, might be like more like 24 on 24 or something Jesus. like that. Yeah, it's that's big. high. It's I big, mean, bat, it's, it's big matches or maybe 30 on 30. Yeah. Or, no, no, no. It's not. It's because it's not 60 player matches. It might be 20 on 20 or something yeah. like that. Still pretty big. Uh, <clears throat> gigantic. And yeah, I mean, there's just a lot of cool moments in the story too, especially going to like the Empire's uh, planet or whatever. One of the Ooh, that was cool. And walking like around and stuff. Like it was just a cool thing to be in, in, in inside of or whatever. And then Mm -hmm. the next time you visit it, it's all, like, destroyed and shit. Spoilers, I guess, but the Empire Falls. You guys should know that by now. (laughs) Wait, nuh-uh. No, wait, what? No, it doesn't. Are these in the movies? Yeah. (laughs) Did this happen? (laughs) Uh, It was really cool, though. Uh, I Yeah, and I love the performances in it, um, too. Like, whether it's mocap or voices, I I don't know. I I feel like it was mocap because it was definitely – it was Shiva. It was that actress. (laughs) Uh, so she did great, I thought, as Aiden, and, um, I like the other performance, not necessarily the, like, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker performances, they were fine, but they, it was very much like, you were aware that it wasn't them, you know, you were aware it was Mark Hamill. Oh, yeah, you were super aware, and, like, I'm, thanks for trying, you know, like, I'm glad that you were trying to get imitators, they weren't bad, you know, but, like, I could tell. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, and I like the guy that he ended up interacting with, the guy that and Aiden ended up up looking. Um, Yay! Luke was like the catalyst for that guy kind of leading towards Thank Aiden's you. side, more or less. Yeah. And, well, um, and, it, and it just shows more of that, like, there's morality now in the Star Wars universe, which there right. never was before. So, you know, like, that's, that's cool, you know? Yeah, it's rad. Uh, so that's my number 10 in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Everybody can suck a dick. No, I'm just kidding. 
Um, there is at least somebody in our in our gaming group that uh, had it in their ten. I think it was Thomas. Uh, he had it somewhere up there. It was higher than ten, I think. And I was like, whoa, balls on you. Uh, good for you, man. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not the only one, I think. No. Uh, but yeah, that's my number ten. What's your number ten? Uh, it's probably getting pushed immediately, so get ready to talk a lot again, Jeff. It's South Park. Oh yeah, that's a that's a slight push, but uh, I do have to cue up the music. So uh, I'm just gonna do it. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? I totally forgot to log into the website ha, to pull up the soundboard. Ha ha ha! Smush it. Okay. Smush smush it real good. Um, so my number nine then is What Remains of Edith Finch. Uh, Ooh, I'm so glad that's on your list. Yeah, I felt I felt a need to put this on the list for how inventive it was and. Because I normally rep those, you know, small ass indie games that nobody plays, uh, mm-hmm. but people did play this one. I should be fair. People played this one, yeah. yeah. This one, <laughs> more people talk about this game than like um, everybody's gone to the Rapture. You know, yeah. like I feel like they did. You were screaming kind of about that game, and all, and all the uh, people who played it were as well. But like, you know, this one was circulating a lot more. It seemed it like in terms, and it was of, in the uh, award circuits and stuff too. Like uh, it was, yeah. 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 Uh, rightfully so, though. It did feel like, what if Tim Burton still made good stuff? And this kind of felt like that. Uh, yeah, I guess it did, yeah. <laughs> uh, visually, it felt it had kind of that aesthetic of, like, 90s Tim Burton, like Batman Returns type shit uh, mm-hmm. in terms of colors and stuff and the brightness of certain characters and stuff. Yeah, that, that was another thing that I gravitated towards was each character having their own uh, quirky story or trait or mm-hmm. whatever you want to call it, power or curse. Um, and it being much deeper than what's on the surface like talking about that guy my most the most memorable thing from that game is the is the guy who might i think it's like her uncle or something uh who has or maybe even brother who uh has a issue with like depression or something and Mm -hmm. um he's just going through the motions at work to the point where everything around oh my god yeah the fish factory one yeah exactly where you have to keep chopping fish as they keep going, but down he's the going, he's escaping in his mind mm-hmm. yep. to somewhere else, you know? Yeah. And, and the more he works or whatever, and just continues to do the same thing without, you know, really changing up his routine, the more that other world that inhabits his brain takes over and it just be in totally take totally completely, uh, takes control of his reality. Um, that was some powerful shit. There's some layers there, you know? Um, yeah. It's more than just, oh, this is a pretty game. It's kind of like you're thinking about it and stuff. And my understanding is there's... <clears throat> uh, the, what's the game that the, this developer did before? It was like a black and white game where the surface is all white and you have to paint it to run... Unfinished so, one. Thank you. Same developer. Um, there is a Easter egg in this game of like somebody... Um, a painting of that game or something. Oh. Cool. And apparently one of the family members of Edith Finch like got lost in that game and like that's like in that rea- that became their reality and they got lost and died in that or whatever. Oh, um, how cool. So it's like another Easter egg. And I thought that was rad too, so I had to I don't know. I had to give this one props for its uh, narrative and stuff and it's Yeah. I played this game twice this year. Ending, but you did. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah once a... on stream and uh, once for myself, so. Yeah. Right. It is a game that you could uh conceivably do that with cuz it's kind of like a movie. Like it's just Yeah, and I was two showing and a half hours something like that. I was showing Bino. I was like, "Bino, you got to see this game." Yeah. I mean, you're going to fucking like you'll I mean, anyone can appreciate it. He yeah. you know, he didn't have to play it. You just sit there and watch it like you said like a movie and it's um it's just fucking awesome storytelling, that's... man. That's what I'm biased towards is those uh, cinematic games, man. The <laughs> ones that I, uh, I, tell a story like and you're just kind of – I mean, I don't want to say you don't have to do much. I mean, you kind of – not necessarily in this one you have to do much, but uh, there's other games that we'll talk about that are like just play out like a movie. And I just yeah. love following that a, – a stream, like an actual like identifiable stream, a narrative stream of consciousness like – yeah. Like you can follow it. You can follow somebody. What somebody was writing. You can follow their ideas and stuff. Uh, and it's not just. Uh, it's not just. There's not just uh, things that like as you play a game, you kind of have to look at things in the world to piece together what the story is. Because uh, I'm not really good at that. Like it's just I'm stupid. So mm-hmm. <laughs> I like this. And there's a lot of other games that we'll talk about that follow that too. Like just are very narrative heavy and story driven. Uh, but yeah, that's my number nine. What's your number nine? Uh, my number nine, and the only reason it's so low, and I don't even know where you're at on this game because we never really got to talk about it. Um, it's uh, Wolfenstein Two. Oh, uh, pushing a little bit. Pushing a little bit. Cool. Oh, it uh, came just out a little my preface. Speakers. God damn it! Hold on. Oh, I heard it. I can hear it. Yeah, no. Let me let me try breaking this. the fourth wall here. Let me try this shit again. This is unbelievable. Oh my god. Jesus. Jesus. 
Christ. Christ. There we go. Okay. Yep, there it is. Uh huh. I hear <laughs> you that. Can totally hear that. Uh, uh, <laughs> we're pushing that uh, a little. I was bit. just gonna say the only reason it's uh, on my list so low because I wasn't even gonna have it on at all, but it yeah. really has made an impression. Just haven't beaten it yet. I'm like only halfway through it, so. And it probably would be higher for me if I had beaten it, but. Me too. Probably be very such, high for me. And it's already like a little bit higher for me, like to the point where you're like, you haven't beaten it, and it's that high. But it's it does leave such an, a fucking indelible impression on you, like it just. It's got. Uh, we'll get there. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll get. get there. We'll <laughs> fucking. We'll get there. No, we'll fucking get there. <laughs> My number eight is another triggered GIF. <laughs> prepare, prepare yourselves, everybody. Uh oh man, I'm not excited to even say what it is. Can I switch it out? I'm just gonna switch it out. No, I'm just kidding. Pass, yeah, just uh, <clears throat> yeah, pass it along. My number eight. I decided to include Destiny Two for the sheer amount of hours I put into it. Uh, Why would you get crucified for that? I don't. That people felt. Oh, out people hate it now. Yo, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Like over the last two weeks, now we hate that game. I forgot that everyone <laughs> decided that yes. for the internet. Because I remember that's seriously people... how I this. That's how I remember it happening. Yeah. I remember. September and October and November being like blissful like months of gaming for a lot not even like because I was not even playing it by November but everyone was just hyped on that game yeah and then something happened in December and we all hate the game now and I don't really and it wasn't the DLC even though the DLC wasn't very good but that's not really what people hate about it and I really don't get it but I guess we hate the game now, so yeah, good know, for right? you for sticking to your guns. And I cause... didn't really end up hating it because of the DLC or anything. I heard that they did put things behind a paywall. I don't know if they ended up changing that after the fact when people got outraged again. What um, things, though? Uh, like uh, weapons and levels and shit like that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know specifics, honestly. Okay. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't just <laughs> throw I already, stuff out there. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, they. I heard things. I heard... I, I Okay, I read headlines. That's what it was. And then it's the only things you can pay... It money for our cosmetic things yeah okay so are um, people mad that they can't have certain cause i know that some things didn't transfer over from last game either and people were mad about that yeah. but it seems like they should have been mad about that in september <laughs> like, <laughs> that's true i don't know uh, anyway yeah i guess i just don't know enough, enough specifics but i keep hearing the term oh they threw some stuff behind a paywall and uh whatever that's a bummer if that's true but i already had the uh you know the season pass so i was fine um <laughs> Yes, sorry so, yeah. sorry everybody uh but yeah i didn't even i didn't even go back and beat the dlc and i feel like i should because i hear it's easy let's and beat it together yeah it's only a couple hours if, yeah. if you haven't done it no one else is gonna play it with me so <laughs> uh but i feel like i should go back and play it and beat that but that's not why it made my list anyway because I, I mean even though i beat the sto- i beat the story like twice because i did it on ps4 we did it on ps4 and then i played it on pc uh and beat that shit with my brother man. Um, and, uh, it was a blast. And then I even started a third one, uh, the one of the, you know, whatever the last class is that I haven't done yet. Um, I don't know why I went with a Titan the first time I played, by the way, because I played as a, whatever you played as with the lightning. Warlock. Yeah. yeah I played as, as a warlock the second time and it was badass as shit. It was awesome. It's so cool. Yeah. I, I know. So <laughs> powerful. That's why and, I never, I'm like, oh, I'm going to make another character after this. I got, nah, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I just haven't revisited the game, but every time I do, I feel fucking awesome like it's just one of the best handling shooters i've played um yeah just one of the best ones i'm really good at the multiplayer which helps my ego a lot so yeah that makes me feel good like I, it, i'm average at it which makes me feel good you know what i, I mean i should say average <laughs> i th- when i say really good that just means average like in the spectrum <laughs> yeah, of like you're not, what quality gaming is <laughs> yeah, you're not like uh you know i got 50 kills unreasonably you know like, <laughs> it was not that good yeah absolutely not like i'm hit i'm hitting like in, into the 20s and dying like you know nine to ten times and yeah. i'm like dude that's a couple kills per death you know <laughs> yeah people are too aggro uh at least at least some of the people that were like on my four person team or whatever they're like aggro and they go in their guns blazing and die. And I'm like, well, that's what fucking happens. Like you got to strategize yeah. with your map, yeah. you know, like if you see red, prepare for somebody to come around the corner and throw a grenade in that direction. I'm like Jesus Christ, dude, slow down. <laughs> I'm always with over eager people that just like, I just got to get a kill. And it's like, you got to settle down a little bit. Uh, whatever. Who am I to talk? I'm average. Uh, spoiler. Uh, I'm that over eager person. <laughs> there he is. Oh my God. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, destiny Two. It's so low, though, because solo, a Star Wars story, uh, because. Don't. <laughs> Sorry. You not just ever. <laughs> it's like, I, if that becomes next year's Justice League, I will be so upset. Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, that's. I think it will. I think it will hurt the Star Wars brand. I think yeah. it will. I've, 
There, I said it on the gaming podcast. I, I would even it. feel more passionately. Uh, I would feel more passionate in my hate towards it if it was that bad. Me too. And like I will be, be worse than Justice relenting League. in my yeah. hate if it is that bad. Like, I ain't going to pull punches because I like Star Wars. Like, man, if that movie sucks, like, woo. Because <laughs> we it's gonna already be a know. Good, uh, it's going to be a good three weeks of content, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, because we already know, like, I mean, you and I at least have the opinion of, like, why do we need that shit at all? But uh, whatever. Yeah. Um, mm. Okay, yeah. So Destiny 2, the story's weak sauce. Uh, you like the story? I mean, it was just fine. You know what I mean? Like, I say weak sauce, but... Way better than it, the story in the first one. Like, oh. Um, I didn't I play enough of the first present. one at all. The first one didn't sink its, its claws in me, like, at all. Like, it's yeah. just... The first one was just like, ugh, all right. Uh, it just felt like a chore to play that game. I like um, the bad guy in this game. He kind of drove the story Yeah, the bad game was, was cool. The bad game. The bad guy was cool. Uh, I don't, the story just didn't grab me uh, as much as I thought it would. Um, but regardless, I mean, that's why it's low. Or on my on my list, and uh, even despite playing it the most, probably probably out of all of these games, um, but it's still God. I love I love them shoot 'em ups, and this one yeah. is one of the best feeling ones, that's for sure. Yeah, um, and on and on story, like I want my stories in sci fi games to be like Mass Effect, not like me going. You know, it was better than the first game, which again didn't have a story. It was absent <laughs> of a story completely. Right. So. You could only go up, but um, and this one you know, was it was it was good me. enough where uh, like there was something that was driving you towards right. an end goal, yeah, which is more than you can say about the first game ever, which is fine, uh, vanilla uh, specifically. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it, there's no jaw dropping like moments or things that happen in this game where you're like, man, they really, yeah, well, they raised the bar in terms of storytelling here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I. Yeah, this one was probably the biggest surprise for me, honestly, because uh, I did not expect much playing this game. But me neither. I got fucking hooked. I think you got hooked to week one. And, I, we, um, we, me, and you begrudgingly bought this game and decided to do so a week before it came out. Right. <laughs> you were like, "Ooh, are you really gonna do that?" I go, "Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I mean, the marketing's been all right, you know." <laughs> right. <laughs> and you're like, "All right." No, it took nothing. Like none of us wanted to do it, no. as in you and I. The world wanted to, but like you know, but like yeah, I, and we ended up having a shit ton of fun. I mean, yeah, and I don't know about you, but I had a bunch of coworkers too that were like, "Oh, Destiny 2, and they just kept talking about it, and I was like, "Well, if I'm the one moron that doesn't get it, yeah." I, oh no, the guy I sit next to all day plays Destiny, and I knew right. that I would just hear about it all fucking year, and I wouldn't have anything to input on. So it would just be him yammering on, you know, and me not being able to input on anything. So um, yeah, this yeah. one was definitely a big surprise for me because i again was was shit talking this one going into the uh, 2017 so and then it ended up making my list and i ended up sinking the most time into this one cool um it was fun it was just like oh i can go do it was just one of those things of like oh i can go just go do this since it's nearby you know it's one of those things and you just never end up going to the mission uh (laughs) it's it's fun uh don't get me wrong there's a there's a finite amount of things to do in this game it feels like like otherwise you're just repeating yourself um again it's number eight. Let's settle down. It's not like number two or whatever. <laughs> Let's settle down, people. Uh, I can already heal. Oh, that's not that good. Um, all right. So what's your number eight then? <clears throat> I'm assuming it's going to be your first. What? Oh, really? Um, could be wrong, though. I don't know. It's Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Oh, um, what? <laughs> Is that what I said <laughs> I was going to say earlier? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm, just, I'm actually really happy it made your list but yeah we're pushing <laughs> you're never gonna talk about any of your fucking games we're not, i'm never gonna talk this whole episode so <laughs> have fun everybody no, th- right. <laughs> oh man i'm i'm really happy it made your list though because like i know yeah, it's like dude. a shorter game or whatever and it's a big year that game comes and deliver we'll get there but it comes and delivers every time like yes. you know it's just you're getting uncharted you know it's yeah. not it did not show up you know <laughs> right like, so uh, i feel like a lot of people felt that way that's like oh it's just a, like the shorter adventure i'm like yeah but it didn't feel like it right it felt like a pretty grand adventure you know like but i don't know we'll get there it, yeah it was yeah when it ended i was like oh bummer but i immediately kind of wanted to play it again actually um sure. all right so my number seven might be push for you actually uh resident evil 7 biohazard uh that is synchronicity oh right there oh my god we synchronized yeah we synchronized yeah how crazy is that i did all. not think that would happen on this list <laughs> Um, is there a song for that? We should play Synchronicity by Arcade Fire every <laughs> single time that someone synchronizes. Or we should play that at the same time as playing Police Synchronicity 2. 
Uh, <laughs> let's just do police. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because I forget how that song goes. Is it the one that goes? I don't remember. Right. That sounds right. Anyway, I don't like go to fucking up. Arcade Fire and not the police first. <laughs> makes know. me really mad. Fucking hipster over here. Hipster Kyle. Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> Let me look it up. I mean, it's not like I don't have YouTube. Right I live there. in the woods. There's nothing hipster about me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's loud as shit. Uh, sorry to everybody. Sorry to Sting. It's really loud. I think it is the one that goes down. Yep, that's the one. All right, cool. cool. So good for us. We're gonna we're gonna use that for that one. <laughs> Definitely use that one. You but, saw something born right here, everybody. A but new the one time. A new gag that this everyone episode. loves. <laughs> the one time this episode, though. Yeah, uh, it'll happen. But yeah. said, next time JD synchronizes on something with somebody. Oh yeah, for sure. And I'm sure it'll happen a lot during the. I'm pretty sure we all have like the same movies from 2017 it's just in different orders that's yeah, what's gonna be fun about that it's probably not far off yeah uh but yeah resident evil 7 biohazard this is another one where like you, if you consider the time that i sunk into the game it's kind of like how did it make it so high but it leaves such a crazy impression on you and really i don't agree with the whole the last two thirds of this game sucks but if you had to play a part of the game the first part of the game is the best oh cool so yeah you played the best part of the game so. does it kind of jump off a cliff in terms of like there's crazier shit that no happens i or, think or... people are just stupid that's oh, what okay. i think i think okay. it i think it maintains everything that it sets out to but i think the most memorable things about the game that are outside of the story uh which not, not a lot of the parts of the, the story twist moments are, are really cruel but uh it's the first part of that game you always remember being stalked like in the house like yeah. by daddy like that's that's the thing that's the thing yep. you know yeah, that's oh my gosh, and I'm still, I'm still haunted by this fucking game. Me too. This game <laughs> fucking creeps the shit out. Like I, uh, I, I, at the thought of, of wanting to finish it, I, uh, I get scared and pee my pants a little bit. Uh, cause that's how scared. It's that's not a game you're like rushing to get back to. Yeah, that's for how me, scared. I mean, that's it's how a very, it is at being scared. it's a very intense experience. Yes, you know, like, uh, and it really takes a lot out of you. Again, I'm. Speaking for me, because like um, I'm very susceptible, apparently, to like really spooky games. I didn't know that. I know I am. Yeah. Spooky movies don't scare me mm -hmm. at all. Like I get like I get really drawn in, and like things get intense. But like I'm never like, <gasps> is this scene almost over? I was like that throughout the <laughs> entire of this game. I'm like, dude. I kept on turning to my roommate Matt, who had already beaten the game. I'm like, dude, is this part almost over? Because I like can't take this. <laughs> 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 yeah i totally fucking get that uh cannot fucking handle this but it was in a good way like you know it really right. challenged me and my my will to go on and my emotions as a gamer you know it's a it was, it was a draining experience in all the right ways 100 percent, and a great villainous uh entity in this game uh, yeah that entire family really man absolutely yeah and who did they get as one of the you mentioned the father was that the guy who's like a, a creepy bad guy in every fucking movie we've ever seen um is that a famous person was it i thought it was the dude from until dawn i guess it probably wasn't oh oh never mind today i guess i'm confusing my horror uh games uh because i you know the guy at the and until dawn where he talks to you uh, oh uh no i don't think he's in it but yeah that's until dawn for sure for some uh, reason I, I, I put the his face guy. on i am your psychiatrist yeah exactly <laughs> for some reason i put his face i assign his face when i think of like that family i, I put his face on that guy who's you're maybe not i mean if they casted a movie I'd, I'd probably put him up for daddy so yep <laughs> uh brilliant choice that is except don't make the movie because so far all six of them have goes. been fucking terrible so don't yeah don't do it anymore keep that guy away from him <laughs> Keep stop. Don't make keep Paul Thomas Anderson away from him. <laughs> Paul Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> there will be blood. Was terrible. Don't do it again. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> a little Freudian slip there. Okay. Oh God. Uh, uh, they talked about doing a reboot though, right? With uh, somebody, James Wan producing or some shit like that. Be not okay with that. So <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's gonna be terrible. Um. Yeah, this is a great I, game, though. It's a great genre I, I, game. I swore off uh, spooky games, not because they spooked me out, because, again, this is the first game to spook me out, mm -hmm. like, ever. Like, I've never felt like this while playing a game, ever. Like, it was really bizarre feeling this way, like, uh, yeah. in, in all the best ways. You find out something new about yourself. Yeah, and on, constantly... the other side, on the other side of fear, Jeff, you figure out who you really are. <laughs> <laughs> um, you think I'd have figured uh, that out with Ghost And it's hunting. true. I figured out I'm a gigantic pussy, is what I figured <laughs> out. <laughs> um, 
So uh, there's the learning something about yourself first thing in January of last year, you know. This is, and that's the thing. Like this game came out swinging in yeah. the first month of the year, and was like, I'm setting yeah, the pace February. for this year. I'm setting the goddamn pace, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, it, and it's the game I'm still thinking about at the end of the year. It's the game that like emotionally affected me the most. Where, I mean, I was screaming out loud when things would jump out at me. Again, like I'm, jump scares don't get me. The game is just really immersive. And then people would talk about like, oh yeah, you should play it in VR. I would die. I would probably heart would stop. <laughs> You know, right. like, I honestly don't think I could take that. That's cra- I would try it, but I don't know how yeah. far I would get. I would uh, scream and I- piss for five minutes and then take it off. But, all right. Yeah, you can't get pee all over my VR system. All right, that's <laughs> Here you go. Um, you know, so, like, this is the game I always kept thinking about all year. I would yes. never play this game again. Like, it was just, like, it's too spooky for me. Um, right. You know, uh, I do want to play the DLC, though, because um, it's more shooty. You're more empowered. And at the tail end of the game, that's the thing. Like, you're more empowered. Oh, good. Uh, you're playing a character who's like totally capable of handling themselves, and mm-hmm. they've got semi-automatic or completely automatic weapons and stuff like that. And like, it's it becomes kind of like a shooting gallery. And I think that's where, oh, oh, like, yeah, people are capable in in the world. People can kill things, you know. Like, not everyone's <laughs> a fucking victim. And sometimes you have an automatic machine gun, and you can take care of a situation. Didn't seem off base to me. I don't know, but whatever. Uh, that's like every but- horror movie ever, though. That doesn't. Yeah. In my opinion, like if you think of horror movies and like the final girl, especially movies that evade that trope, like Halloween or whatever, that where the final girl ends up living and beating the killer or whatever. Yeah. Um, suddenly they're capable. I mean, the whole movie, they're suddenly, screaming and they're topless, the but anymore. suddenly they're capable. Changed, right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Whatever. Those people. Uh, I, yeah. It's like. It's like people just like to complain. It's crazy. I've Dude, never seen it until this, this year. Like, I'm just this kidding. is new or whatever, yeah. <laughs> this is a new phenomenon. I know, right. Phenomenon. But it did phenomenon. it. it, it. Phenomenon. Starring John Travolta. Did it did it do. All right. Um that's a shitty movie. Don't see that movie. Anyway. I have it. <laughs> Number Came one. Out thing. Around the same time it's Michael, and I'm like, you're in yes, too many movies did. where you're like a god, and stop. I know Scientology yeah. is doing this, so stop, stop playing it. like religious beings or whatever the fuck yeah. it's so <laughs> weird things. Yeah. oh my god number one thing i didn't expect to be brought up this episode phenomenon starring john Travolta. <laughs> <laughs> check that off the list of things jeff wanted to get to <laughs> uh so that was our collective number seven just by pure habit stands because of synchronicity ah oh, shit i closed the song out already so i can't play it again whatever yeah. it's fine uh so my number six we're not gonna be synced on because you mentioned it earlier it's wolfenstein 2 the new colossus New Colossus. The new Coleslaw. Uh, Coleslaw, yeah. (laughs) Again, another game that I didn't beat, but I'm sitting here like, man, this game is fucking impressive in almost every regard. Like, it's it's crazy how good this game is. Really Uh, good. Because shooters just don't, they just don't make them like this anymore. Uh, No, they don't make shooters like this. It sometimes (laughs) feels like Half-Life, and other times just feels like an old-school shooting gallery. Exactly. And what I I mean by Half-Life is, like, there'll just be moments where you're just walking around, and there's not even a gun in your hands. You're just experiencing the environment or whatever, and it's like... I just did the first part, the first time you do that, and I'm like, is this Fallout? What is this? This is crazy. Yeah, exactly. What the the French toast, you know? Like, what's going on here? (laughs) Um... So, uh, yeah, I don't know, like, and, and the thing that you find immediately, or the thing that gravitated towards me immediately was the writing. Same like, I played the first game, and everyone was like, man, it, that's a really good story, and I'm like, I don't know. I played, like, the first half of that game, and it never really grabbed me or whatever. Uh, maybe the last half of that game is really great. Uh, didn't seem that way uh, to me for the first half. I know that's sacrilege. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like, oh, my God. But the second game, like, really comes out swinging. It does, um, and, yeah. And, you know, you're shooting people, and you're in a wheelchair. Like, you're already doing something different at the beginning <laughs> of that game. That shit insane. Uh, That's what I love about so the game, crazy. too. So yeah. crazy. And the bad guy's awesome. Mm-hmm. Prowl line, she's so fucking evil. Yes. You know, like, I want to rip off the rest of her face, you know? Like, ugh. Like, she's, like, that. you want a good bad guy, man. And she's great. She's a great bad guy. Caroline. Caroline. <laughs> You're still with us, aren't you, Kayla? You said it like 30 times, and I, I'm i still like barely in the game, it feels like. <laughs> Your ghost is still in the machine, Caroline. Caroline, you're still with me, Caroline. <laughs> uh, yeah, the writing is is noticeably amazing. Like, it's, yeah. uh, immediately you notice that. Um, and uh, like all of the uh, the early stuff, like the flashbacks at the beginning, like where you keep... Catches you up real good. Yeah, it does. Where, like, yeah, I felt like I played of, the first game after that. I was like, oh, good. That's okay. true. Yeah, I agree. Uh, where you kind of, you're jumping around because you're, 
your consciousness, I guess, is going in and out because you're on like a, a medical slab just being treated for something. And you're just kind of doing flashbacks. That's like their their mechanic of like doing flashbacks, their way of mm. doing it, getting away with it. And it totally fucking works. Because um, then you end yeah. up being a kid and you see a, your abusive, shitty dad who you try to throw vases at or whatever, and it's pointless and fruitless. Did you end up shooting the dog, by the way, or did you miss on purpose? Because I totally missed on purpose. I, m- I missed on purpose because okay. I am uh, got a soul. So I'm wondering if there is an option to shoot the dog or what. Cause... Oh, no, I'm sure there is. I, okay. They probably... It all probably cuts away all the same, though, you know? Yeah, that's true. Because he does, like, beat you and then grab the gun and go, God damn it, or whatever. <laughs> Dude, the stuff with the dad yeah. is so awesome. Yeah, it is. It's so, like, powerful, man. And then, like, you meet him later in the game. I don't know if you got in there, so I don't want to go into too much or whatever. No, I haven't, I but it's fine. It's I won't. Yeah, well, even for playing. everyone <laughs> listening or whatever, like, it's, um, dude, it's powerful, man. Like, and I'm like, what the, what game am I playing? Am I playing a game about shooting robot Nazis? Yeah, or exactly. am I playing a game where people are telling me to feel certain things? Because I'm feeling all sorts of things right yeah. now. <laughs> like, and it's crazy to start the game at its most, uh, batshit crazy level where you're shooting people from a wheelchair yeah and you're perfectly capable and it's there's but an I, element I like of how... humor to it that it's captured uh from like earlier um type of id software games like doom and yeah. stuff you know where you're doing silly shit um but it's badass you know and i don't know if you've noticed this but um your health is always at 50 yes. because you're so wounded you're not at 100 percent. and i'm right. like that's fucking great <laughs> yeah that's a that's brilliant little, that's a brilliant little stupid stuff like that like i really yeah. like that so yeah, and I just love the writing of like every interaction with every character. Every character. Is so who did distinct. you save, the dad or uh, the old guy or the young guy? I think the young guy. Well, he's me got, too. Like, PTSD and he's about it and shit. He's got the best story. He gets hooked on like LSD like oh, immediately. Okay. And he'll come up to like characters on the ship and just say really, really, really profound things what? and then scutter up. It's so hilarious. That's like, so awesome. Because he's constantly tripping, so he'll run up and say something really profound, or he'll be drawing something like yeah. really crazy, and then he'll just scutter. It's so great, and he's always on mission, like doing. A- uh, it's so ridiculous, but the writing is so good. Like he's. He's such a likable character because he's so like he's so goofy and right. inebriated all the time. <laughs> yeah, man. Kudos to uh, Bethesda for uh, knocking this shit out of the park. I think this is one of their better uh, shooter games. Period. Yeah. Like, I mean, uh, I mean, they do they do Fallout and, and Scrim, right? Uh, so they do. Yeah. I'm not I, talking I was, about those. I'm I'm talking about just straight shooters. And they're you know? all different, like yeah, studios too. You know, so like Machine oh, yeah, Games right. does this game, and then yeah. Bethesda proper does like a uh, Elder Scrolls or whatever. But um, you know, Wolfenstein's really good, man. I, I will say that the difficulty is a little too hard for me. Um, yeah, I lowered it down to bitch level, and yeah, uh, I'm down on bitch level, and, and uh, I, I noticed like the I got, levels are faster. Like, and the way it, that. Oh yeah, it's much faster. You go yeah. through the game much faster that way, and and just the way that they talk about you, you're BJ Blazkowicz. You're like a god, like they can't kill you. Yep. I kind of want to feel that way. Yeah, you I know? know what you mean. Yeah. So I I feel like I'm getting more out of the story this way because I'm playing into the fantasy a little bit. Uh, but it is a game I will go back to and, and try on a harder level. It's just uh, I never bust things down to easy. I just I was getting real frustrated. Oh, yeah, so. I was trying it on like the uh, second. What is the the one above easy where it's kind of like normal? Um, yeah, normal. Yeah. And yeah, I just kept dying, oh, and the levels were longer. Um, the, yeah, the, there's like two normals or whatever. But yeah. I just kept dying, and the levels were longer. Like I remember at the beginning when I when I played the game for the first time, it was like a little bit longer to to reverse the conveyor belt at the very beginning. And then when you lower it a uh, difficulty, it's like reverse the conveyor belt, and you literally just roll over and push a button. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> it. And you just go back up, and it's like, oh, I had to do way more shit in the other difficulty. Uh, but it's awesome. Uh, I, yeah, I love the game, man. It's definitely, I'm definitely going to finish it. This is the one I'm probably Me most too. inspired to finish for sure. Me too. Same here. Um, that was your nine. Is that right? Yes. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 Um, have we talked about a sing? Okay. We have talked about Resident Evil seven. So let's find out if we have one we can talk about again. Oh yeah, we will. We'll talk about this one. Okay. Go for it, man. My number six is Yakuza Zero. Oh, cool, man! Yeah, I, uh, I really like this game a lot. Series, yeah, um, you know, um, and I think I may have on a preview. I think on Fathers of the Grind, I may have had this at four, and I may have just working off an old list right now. But just for the sake of it, we'll just move forward on it. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> Yakuza Zero. Yeah, uh, this is a game that kept crawling up my list all year because uh, it's another one that I kept thinking about. Um, I played all the Yakuza games. 
Um, I love this series. It's great. You know, it's just it's right up my it's right up my alley. It's a Japanese soap opera drama. And the very next thing you're chasing around like a guy like in a speedo who's obsessed with uh, hostess and porno clubs. Uh, so, you know, like there is no like you. There's a lot of whiplash effect in this game, but it doesn't feel bad. Like it works with it, you know. Right. It'd be like, you know, it, uh, almost to the levels of Saints Row zaniness. But like the story's played really seriously. <laughs> yeah. <it laughs> Imagine <is. laughs> that's kind of how it's played. So. Um, yeah, and I, I just really like this series a lot, you know, and it's finally getting the attention that it's always needed in the West, and uh-huh. they're re-releasing all the games, and uh, 6 comes out in March, and I'm fucking pumped. I'm fucking pumped, dude, Man, you have no games. idea. It comes out the same week as Far Cry. Like, why you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> God um, damn it. <laughs> and March is just <laughs> This, this awesome. year is There's unrelenting, dude, like again. Games that are coming out that month. March is crazy that month. Yeah, March, <laughs> like, sucks, but in a good way. <laughs> yeah, fucking, yeah. Wallet doesn't think it, it's that great. Um, I really like Yakuza Zero, man. Like they, uh, they give you uh, the ability to play a character that everyone's always wanted to play as, who's like the coolest character in the series, but you know nothing about him, and you get his mm-hmm. entire backstory in this game. So imagine, like, uh, I don't know, you've been watching a TV show your entire life, and uh, you know they're gonna spin off. Oh, that's a really bad. That never works out. Uh, just imagine <laughs> getting information. That never works out. Uh, just imagine getting the information you've always wanted on a character that you never thought yeah. you'd get information on. You know, it's just like, right. yeah, Better Call Saul. It's a great example. There you go. Great example. We know we didn't know we wanted that, and we yeah. got it, and we you know, it's great. Um, so yeah, uh, and uh, he's a really cool character. He's kind of like the, the adversary. So you're playing not the bad guy, but he's like you know one of like the uh, rivals of like the main character of the mm-hmm. series. And I think six is the last one in the series, so it's a good time. They they really did a good job sandwiching the series together. You can play the first one ever right now, cheap as shit. Um, yeah, and then they're going to re-release all the new games. Right? The, yeah, the absolutely. Kiwami Kiw- 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 or whatever. Kiwami, and they're going to release all the other ones, and then 6 comes out this year, so by the time you get through all these games, 6 will be really cheap for you, you know, and you can, uh, it's but a good time chip. to start on the series. It'll be cheap. It'll be cheap. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Nice yeah, chip. I, I heard you saying on the Fathers of Grand podcast how, like, this needs to be a series that people talk about more, because it's just, um, I don't know, there's something about it that, uh, people should be gravitating towards and they're just not for maybe i don't know because they're but they're more more now than ever Americans. but not enough still yeah. you know it's just yeah and it's just i don't know i don't know if people know what the game is you know true. and it's just an old school beat up man it's like yeah. it's the like streets of fun, rage like really, really or any of those other it. things but 3d and you know it's cool money comes flying out of people like they used to in like the old game it's just <laughs> right. funny man yeah yeah uh yeah the, i like the fighting element in it that's uh that's fun um yeah Man, I dropped off that game way too early. Uh, that was an early year one too, and I was just—I don't know—I just guess just got lost in other shit. Anyway, anyway, that was your number six. So my number five is not on your list, probably. It's Super Mario Odyssey. It's Mario. Oh yeah, we're da-da-da-da. pushing that. What? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Really? <laughs> Did you finish it? Hard on men for me. Oh okay. Uh, so Hard it's your number men. eleven, basically. I'm gonna count it. Yeah, count it. Yeah, it's number That's- eleven. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I'm taking it. Little victories. Uh, yeah, I did end up finishing this one because uh, what's weird, what's, here's what's funny about this game is that um, I bought it like day one, basically. I played like 40 minutes of it and then went to bed like that night. And um, then I didn't touch it again until like very recently, until like uh, two weeks ago. And I haven't been able to stop ever since. Like it's just a game that you start on those moons. Like, yeah, exactly. You, it's fucking crack, man. <laughs> you all got any more of them moons? Uh, yeah, it's crazy. You just not just want to collect more moons. You want to see what the other worlds have to offer and what other things uh, or animals or whatever you want to call them you can inhabit and what skills they have. Because each one of them has like a different skill. And don't get me wrong. It's like two buttons you press. Uh, it's not like yeah. it's super complex. But the fact that they bother, like the fact that it's super creative, each thing does its own um has its own features or whatever like those those squids that spit out water i don't know if you've gotten to that level um yeah yeah and how yeah, you can like right. fly up and across and then eventually you run out so you have to go back down and get water again to refill and you go back up and across and stuff like that i th- 
that's just really fucking clever. Uh, it's just stuff that I don't remember seeing in the Mario game before, but it has been years since I've played in, in like no, any of these. No, this titles. is all pretty much new stuff. In oh, this okay, game. that's that's really yeah. awesome. And I thought the inclusion of a game, or excuse me, like a kingdom like Metro Kingdom of New Donk City was incredibly ballsy. Like, you yeah, know, I like that one a lot. That was really cool. Like to just. I don't know, to kind of feel like you're being placed in a in the real world where everybody's drawn like a person and yet you're this cartoonish fucking dude running around helping people. Mm-hmm. It's so crazy. Uh this game's wacky, dude. Hey. Nintendo wacky. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, I love the color scheme of each world. Each world has its own thing going on, and the the only exception is Metro Kingdom, where it's just all of the colors from our world, basically. Um, which is really, again, I fucking love that. I love that level so much, and how it ends on this uh, parade thing. Um, and you're and you, I mean, the mayor asks you, "Do you want to participate?" And you can be a dick and just be like, "No," but <laughs> if you participate. I mean, I would just recommend participating because you get a triple moon at the end. So just, just fucking do it. Uh, and it's, uh, it's like an old school game of uh, a Mario with, with Donkey Kong as like a villain or something. Um, it's really cool. Like, it's just old school platformer. And I'm a sucker for uh, platformers. And this one was just the best one I've ever played, period. It just is. Yeah. Um, it's, it's Mario 64 on, on, on steroids. It's, it's so beautiful. And even at a certain point, it, it literally is Mario 64. <laughs> you go back to Peach's Castle... And it's awesome. Uh, and you can buy, like, your avatar from Mario 64, and you can look shitty That's again. That's rad. Uh, which I totally did. I look that's I look really rad. shitty right now. Um, kind of. I guess that's kind of spoilers, because that's after you beat the main story, but there's not really a story anymore, so there's no real spoilers. Um, yeah. But it takes you to some really cool places at the end of the game. Like, the very last level, the last boss level, is really fucking cool. And um, after you beat the last boss, who I don't know if you guys can guess, is Bowser. I don't know if you guys Dude. can guess that. Dude, <laughs> spoilers. Uh, but after that, there's some really, really cool shit that happens that I just didn't. I want see the boss coming. at the end of one of these games to be Peach and just being like, <laughs> "I never said yes to you, ever. You'll it's be... never gonna happen. You're a fucking plumber, you know." And then you, <laughs> and then you have to fight her, which may be a little un PC, but she no, always that would wins. Be very so... un PC, but she's yeah. asking for it or whatever the fuck. Uh... Yeah. She wouldn't fucking come with me, so I started fighting her. Yeah. <laughs> God. But that's the thing; she's empowered, and she beats you every time. So. There is a uh, a nice little kibosh, if you will, on the ending, on the very end, right before the credits roll, um, where you're kind of like, "Oh yeah, that's how that this game should go," you know? Like it's not like kibosh. It's it's a it's it's a 2017 ending of a Mario game. You know, it's not like a old school. You get the girl, and it's done. Let me just say that. Let me just say that. I'll just say that and leave it. Uh, but yeah, it's a great, it's a great fucking game, addicting as fuck, and I do want to go back and play it again, like all the way through. Like the Super Mario Brothers movie, where like Peach comes through the door, like with guns and a tank top, and she's like <laughs> ready to go save like the future guys or whatever. However, that movie ended, and they're like, yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what you're leading me to believe how this ends. So that is don't, that is don't tell exact, me if I'm right or wrong. That but. is the exact <laughs> ending. Uh, they literally just ripped off the movie. You know, <laughs> you remember the Mario movie well yes. enough to know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, yeah. Like, yeah, she's like, she's dressed in like, yeah, shitty clothes or whatever. And she's like, yeah, let's go yeah, save the like future. Like Mad Max and, clothes or whatever. And like there's going like, to be a sequel. You guys ready to go save the... I don't know. Like, there's going to be this like, giant a sequel or something. Us. Yeah, it's, it it's never. setting up a sequel that will never happen in a million years. <laughs> but if it did, I'd go watch that movie. So. You know what's funny? We are in the middle, in the midst of doing 2008 movie homework for an upcoming episode. Uh, so stay tuned for that, guys. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I watched Rock and Rolla again. And at the end, it's like, all these characters will be back in the real Rock and Rolla. And I'm like, oh, this movie's never coming out. Yeah, what? Come on. <laughs> Come on, Guy Ritchie. Come on, motherfucker. Stop with the Sherlock 3 and do this one first. Um, yeah. All those people are going to die, man. Tom Wilkinson's like 100. Uh, anyway. Actually, Tom Wilkins is dead. Well, spoilers on that movie. He's dead by the end of the movie. Uh, so. Oh, that's true. Oh, and um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about Sherlock 3. Maybe I would have wanted that like years yeah. ago, but like I feel like he's like, oh, shit, people really hated that sword movie. So uh. I think Downey said that they hired a writer for it. That's the last update I remember from like last year or whatever. And yeah. uh, Guy Ritchie has been saying like, oh, the script is done for Rock and Rolla 2. Um it's just yeah. uh, he's just it's really just a matter of finding time for it apparently. 
weird. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm he like, really oh, just wanted to do it. King Arthur instead of Rock and Roll 2, I guess. Yeah, so. Yes. Yeah. You know what? I you could have make... taken the time it took to do that movie and not done that movie. <laughs> you know, and, and less Rock and Roll 2. Less resources <laughs> and a better cast. Like, oh my gosh. Unbelievable, man. All right. Uh, whatever. Whatever to that. But you did play Can Mario I... and you liked it, right? You liked it enough. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm not the biggest platformer guy in the entire world. You ever yeah. want to see me rage out in a video game? Watch me stream any week if the game involves jumping in any sense and watch my depth perception fail me 95% of the time. Oh my gosh. There's parts uh, of this game where you have to like jump up really high and then like fall dramatically onto an enemy's head. Oh yeah. I would never be able to do that. Yeah, <laughs> and oh my god, you might have like quit at this one level. There's like a level where where it's like all food items or whatever. Uh huh. And at the end of it, you fight this big bird, and they're like spitting things at you that you have to jump on to get to its head and crush its head. Mm-hmm. Um. And oh my god, that I literally called the game a cunt wagon. I was so fucking mad a at that level. Wagon. That <laughs> it makes no a sense. Cunt wagon. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but yeah like depth perception was a giant issue just because of the, like the camera work in that level uh and that specific boss fight i should say i'm uh, not the level level's great but that boss fight was just like so fucking frustrating and then when i beat that it was smooth sailing for the rest of the way for uh, for platforming like um people when people talk about ninja gaiden people are like man like the enemies in that game are hard and the bosses are so hard in that game i'm yeah. like yeah i die a lot while jumping to platforms in that game uh that's what's <laughs> yeah. hard to me in that game right seriously like i'm yeah. actually a- absurdly good at ninja gaiden when i'm not really good at games in general N- never good at jumping in almost any video game just ever <laughs> i don't know what it is uh yeah. i can't really jump in real life either you know i'm pretty clumsy in real life maybe it just translates i don't know uh i don't i don't know i maybe it's just uh because i've played well you've played enough mario too yeah see but exactly you know what I mean? Like it's something that it happened is, in, my, in my adulthood. Something happened. You something know, happened, like, you just lost a touch. In the last ten years, I have you know, you know, Ninja Gaiden. I guess came out when I was in high school. It's but, all the ganja. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Just, just not legal where you Colorado are. Colorado doesn't mean. Um. Anyways. <laughs> oh, um. God. Yeah, man. I uh, I feel like I'm piling on uh, just because I, I'm not good at platformers. It's not Mario Odyssey's fault. Mario Odyssey is like the most charming game I played all year. Yeah. It makes lo- you feel and good. I love the music in music it too. Is awesome yeah. in the game. It's just super cheery. Tap, tap, tap your foot, inducing type of music. You yep. know, uh, super easy uh, pooping game. Oh yeah. If I want to collect call. like three or four stars real quick, and uh, you know, pinch one out. Um, that's a good way <laughs> to. Uh, <laughs> it's a good way to like you know pass the time. Right. Um, and uh, it looks really, really, really good on and off like the big screen. So yeah, like you know, if you're does. playing on your big screen. It's great. And I play a lot on handheld looks great there as well you know? i bought so just, a uh, uh, projector and played the last level on on my projector and it looked really good translated really well played real good good luck <laughs> it's tell nights nice, right where he's like car ran real good yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah? <laughs> anyway uh what's your number five did we sync uh, no, no, no number five is uh mass effect andromeda Oh, okay. Andro- I didn't know really enough of that. That's an honorable mention just for the time yeah, that for I the did sake put of into it. Time being sink into it. Mm-hmm. Um, at least I didn't hate it like everybody seemed to. I um, mean, that's ridiculous to hate it for the reasons I think they're hating it, which is just yeah. for the facial Oh, it's not like the third. It's not like the first trilogy. The first get Yeah, it's a new. Yeah. It's a new goddamn story. <laughs> oh, my game. God. It's, it's a whole new tone. Like, you're not even yeah. doing the same thing. You're not saving the universe. You're like. You're Star Trekking. It's the best Star Trek game there's that's ever been made, and I will yeah. die on that. Like, I mean, seriously, it's no other game where you're surveying planets and talking with the locals and you know building up like little facilities and like you know building up like humanity in that sector of space. Like, dude, it's Star Trek. It's a Star Trek simulator. It's awesome. Um, I have a really good time playing this game. Uh, I will say, yeah, the facial animations in this game sucks. Yeah, the character animations in this game sucks. Yeah, they didn't use motion capture. Yeah, yeah. I know everything Oops. uses motion capture yeah. now, but they didn't. Uh, I don't know why. Should we dock them for that? Maybe, but they didn't artistically for whatever reason. I don't know if it was an art reason because right now I think mocap is the easiest way to do stuff. I don't know if it's the cheapest, but I'm pretty sure it is the easiest way to like, um, you know, make a character model appear on screen in, in some in some sort of realistic way, you know, instead of mm-hmm. trying to like 
animate someone walking real. Like, you know how hard that probably is? Right. Uh, but no, we'd rather sit here and criticize and criticize. And it wasn't so bad that it ever took me out of the experience. Maybe some of the facial animations were bad, but guess what? Wore a helmet that entire game. Didn't bother me. Yeah. <laughs> you're in space. You're wearing a lot of helmets. So, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, really easy way to fix that. And all the aliens looked alien. So, you know, if their fa- facial animations were off, you probably wouldn't know. Um, you know, so, uh, I don't know. I just had a really good time playing this game. It didn't have the strongest story, but it had like a lot that still propelled you forward because I really did like the cast of characters and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and I like just, I like the sense of exploration in this game. The huge worlds are open and enormous and unlike any other, uh, places that you visited and other Mass Effect games. And this is the best playing Mass Effect game that they've ever made. Oh yeah. It's the best gameplay. It's the funnest gameplay. It's the best worlds that you're walking around. I mean, like, people just, like, want to focus on all the other stuff, I guess. I don't know. But, like, you know, there's a lot of good going on in this game. And we will never, ever get the answers that we're looking for because they're just not doing anything with the series anymore. So. Yeah, it's a lot shame. of plates. It's such a so, shame. Yeah, it's a big shame. Well, ending on that note. <laughs> you know what? The series is dead. It's fucking sad. Any- anyways. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, Dianora, pour one out. Uh, no, great game. If you are, if you hesitated on playing that game, it's like ten bucks now. Just fucking buy it and play it. Like it's really good. You're not. You're, you're definitely gonna get ten bucks out of it. You know. Yeah, I yeah, I'd agree with that. I, I need to play it more, dude. That's one that's like obviously a, a offensive uh, selection in my backlog. <laughs> like you didn't play that. Uh, all right. So my number four. I might as well prepare the pushing music. Uh, my number four is Last Day of June, right? I assume that's your number one. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what that is. So, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is. One I don't of even those... know if that's a real title or not. If you're just making, <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. My la- my number four is drops of drops of mercury. Drops of fate. <laughs> exactly. uh, what, uh, what drops of fate in insurrection rising i'm like i didn't know you started playing japanese games jeff that's great <laughs> last day of june is one of those indie of fuck indie as fuck games that i always select every year that people roll their eyes at uh but yeah this game is pretty much like it, pretty much like groundhog day it's um it's pretty fucking sad i'm not gonna lie because it starts on a really sad note like you're you go through this what seems to be a normal day where um, you're this you're this dude. The animation, by the way, is is like very uh, it's kind of blocky a little bit, but don't get me wrong. There's three D shapes. It's not like Minecraft, um, but the, like the people don't have like legit faces. Like you can't see their expressions. You just hear them going ah oh, ah, oh, and they don't talk either. Um, anyway, indie as fuck game. Uh, it's this normal day that you have with your wife, and it's her idea to go to the or or his. I can't remember. It does matter though. Um, idea to go to like the beach or whatever the fuck to the pier and hang out and um, they do and uh, oh wait okay when when they're about to go there when they're trying to go there she there's like a car accident and he's paralyzed oh and she dies so oh. the whole game <laughs> the whole game is you like revisiting that time through vague supernatural abilities they don't even explain it which is i think the best part of the game um and like you're you're basically exploring paintings paintings that your wife used that your wife painted and you're going back to the moment that she like painted or whatever or that's what like uh represent. what dreams may come with robin williams oh really his wife was the pa- you've never seen that movie oh well yeah i saw it i just don't oh yeah well like his wife's point. like a painter and he like uh um, his heaven was like her paintings yeah. or whatever, or you oh, know, gotcha. she well, died I do need to rewatch suicide that or whatever. Because you put it in one of your lists that we're doing coming up. I don't remember which one, uh, but <laughs> but this one about love. This movie's about love, Jeff. <laughs> this one you're revisiting. Each painting sp- represents a specific person that you can like change. You can inhabit and change their um, what they do. That it's kind of like what's what's the. Uh, it's like a butterfly effect. Like if you change one of their actions, then maybe you don't get in a car accident. Um, but you ha- keep to have have to you keep having to go back and revisit. You have to go back and revisiting those paintings because she keeps dying. And uh, yeah, it's just a really fucking powerful game. And Jesus Christ, man, if you don't tear up at the end of it, because it is sad. It becomes a whole I don't different cry. thing. I don't do that. Uh, you don't do that. You don't cry. No. You're like this is pussy shit. <laughs> 
<clears throat> that's for that's for uh, F words and and Nancy's. <laughs> this is on PS4. It's on PS4 and Windows. Um, oh, cool! I really Eurogamer <gasps> ranked it 33rd on their top 50 of 2017. But yeah, really emotional game, and there's some really great <coughs> music in it too. Um, uh, there's some great like it's just a big score. Like it's not necessarily. You know what I mean? It's it's it feels like something out of like every every everybody's gone to the rapture. I was about to say every day's the rapture. Every day's the rapture in everybody world. <laughs> oh, wow. So this is a Japanese version. Everybody's gone to the rapture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're always adding the subtitles. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it just feels like very melancholy the score and everything. And it's just yeah, dude, it's fucking powerful as shit. And I'm trying not to spoil the ending, but that's the, where the most emotional gratification comes from. And um, it's kind of like if you looked at screenshots of it, you're kind of like, oh, this is kind of like Tim Burton, like Corpse Bride type stuff. Uh, but, you know, it's just more colorful. Um, and it's a little different, too. It's not. No, I, that's might be a bad example. Maybe Coraline, like the heads are big. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. anyway, it's great. People should go play it. And uh, they call it like a puzzle game. But I feel like that misrepresents what the game is because um, you're not really. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Jeff. I wouldn't call it a puzzle. Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I just wouldn't. Yeah, um, it's probably no more puzzle game. Like, if someone told me, hey, Inside's a puzzle game, I'm like, no, it's not. Yeah, <laughs> even though there are puzzle aspects. There are it, a lot of puzzles in that game. Yeah. But no, it's not a puzzle game. Right. You know, yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's my number four, is that sad as shit game. What's, uh, what's your number four, Kyle? God, I am going to uplift it, hopefully, with another game about the end of the world. Horizon Zero Dawn! Oh, a game again yeah. I didn't sink enough time into, even though it was like probably one of the most mentioned game of the year choices in our uh gaming group that we're in yeah right yeah. um we you got a, a lot of people with a lot of opinions in that gaming group you got people who are like this is like re- i think this game is awesome yeah i think there are flaws to it i think it's really 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 good um i think it unfortunately came out the same year and like the same two weeks that zelda came out which is not its fault yeah. maybe it is it chose that date <laughs> but um, yeah he did <laughs> Um, you know, so whatever. Uh, I don't know who got pushed there first, so I'd have to look that up. But, um, you know, someone could have moved and probably should have. Yep. Because for me, it got buried. I I was playing Horizon first, and then Zelda came out, I think, that Friday or something like that. Like, literally Mm -hmm. that same week, that Friday, or the next week, I forget the exact timeline. Uh, And I never played this game again until, like, September. Like, I got buried. Because after Zelda, Persona came out. And after Persona... Fucking this came out after that. Blah, 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 blah. You know, it was just like all these huge, gigantic 100 hour games kept on like falling in my lap. And I'm like, well, sorry, other 100 hour game. I'm probably not going to get to you anytime <laughs> right. soon. Uh, to be fair, it's like 50, but still, yeah. it's a lot. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a good, beanie, meaty, chunky game. Uh, so you have a lot of people who, who think very positive about it. And then you have a lot of people who are just like, game's not that good. I don't know what's so special about it. Uh, that I don't understand. I don't yeah, I'll never understand that. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe it wasn't like for you or you didn't really like it, but like there's plenty special about about yeah. this game uh, from setting alone uh, to uh, just the art design of like the, the, the creatures that you're fighting and riding and in, interacting with and stuff like that. Um, yeah, there was some small voice acting issues and some character animation issues or whatever. But like, I really don't care if the writing's good. Like mm-hmm. none of that bothers me. Um, and the story is absolutely amazing in this game. It's so good. It, it was so good for the first time ever. I I'm like, dude, fuck all this side shit. I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm. I just want to do the mission. I'm. Just, I, and I beat the game and almost did none of the side stuff at the end, which I never do. I'm very yeah. like meticulous about like doing everything before I finish see the credits, you know. And I was like, nah, man, I got to figure out what happens. I'm not fucking that not gonna so know. Because cool. yeah, I remember gonna... playing a little bit of that game and being kind of like blown away at how much story there was. Because I, I just thought too. it was just going to be like, you're just in this world and you kind of have to do your own thing. Me too. I didn't know it was going to be like that, you know? Mm-hmm. So, like, I thought it was just like, yeah, like, you are a girl and there's some stuff going on and you need to kill stuff and collect things and get better armor. I like Monster right. Hunter. You know? Like, it's more just like the setting is the story. Nah, dude, there's a full fucking script, man. <laughs> like, yeah. There, it's good, you know. Like there are there are stakes, you know, and yeah, things are. happen. It's awesome, and by the end of the game, it's super satisfying. Like everything from start to finish is a really is really satisfying. Um, yeah, man, I I really enjoyed this game. I eagerly await a sequel. Um, this is way better than anything that this studio has ever done. All the Killzone games, those games oh, are man, mediocre. These are the Killzone guys, holy shit! 
yeah, yeah. These, these guys made shooters their entire career, and for the last ten years, they've been thinking about making this game, and finally got to make it. You know, so awesome. this is so completely different than a first-person shooter. So for them to pull off an open-world game for yeah. their very first time ever, when they come from something completely different, completely, that's amazing to me. And you should like maybe think about that when you're grading hard on like how empty you think the world is, or yada mm-hmm. yada. I don't agree with any of that stuff. I think the world is so populated with things, I get overwhelmed. I'm like, I don't even know what I want to do. There's so many things on my map. Like, ugh, it's like The Witcher all over again. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, Get to it, man. You'd I was really going like- to say, yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn might have been like 11 or something like that uh, for me. Uh, it was in many variations or iterations of my list. Uh, mm-hmm. That I just couldn't justify, much like Zelda or Mass Effect, I couldn't justify keeping it in there because I didn't play it enough. Um, even though I was so captivated by the world that it plugs you into right away. Right. And it's just right. so fucking creative and inventive, all that stuff. Anyway, my number three is a push. Do you want to guess is what it, it is? Is it Persona? Yeah, it's Persona 5. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> made your top three? It did, right? I was, after six went by, I was like, oh, he didn't put it on his list. He ended up back in <laughs> Like, seriously, I was like, yeah, he ended up. That's fine. <laughs> Something happened. He hates it now. That's cool. Anyway, my top two, you could guess because I pushed three? them. Yeah, number three. Oh, that's awesome. Parallel Universe <laughs> Jeff is at it again. Yeah. What the fuck's going on with you? <laughs> it's crazy. Next, uh, you're going to be like, hey, what's that new turn based game that's coming out next month? I think I'm to check that out. I'm like, I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about the style of that, of that game that is unlike any other game, period, whether it's of that genre or not. Like, Yeah. I get real mad when people are just like, don't get it. I don't get it about this game. What do you mean you don't get it? When you look at it, you get it. <laughs> yeah, that's And it's weird for me to come to the defense of the game, but it's like striking immediately. Like, it's just... Yeah. How can you look at that game and just go, eh, like... Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like any, anything special. <laughs> like, no, it looks insane. like nothing you've ever seen before. Let's get that out first. That's so yeah. insane to me. Uh, what's your number three, though? Uh, yeah, yours is a push. We're pushing that. My number three is near automata. A tomato. A tomato. Near tomato. You wouldn't near tomato. Yeah, near air tomato. Heirloom tomato. Um, is that not a push, Jeff? It was honestly. It was ten until I removed Battlefront. Um, until I put in Battlefront. Sorry. Good for you. I'm glad you stuck up for Battlefront. Someone needed to. Yeah, because I, I, I actually beat that story, and I feel passionately about that story. And near, I didn't, but it was like, man, it was fucking close to making my list because it's just the action. Oh my god, the action is so good in that game. Man, it feels so good to kill things in this game. It does. That it makes you want to go out and play this game again. Uh, I have not gotten all the uh, the endings yet. Um, mm-hmm. There are three different main endings, and then like twenty different like sub endings or whatever you know yeah. some are like really silly and preposterous and others are just like nutty or whatever but you play three different characters three different endings um and i'm still trying to get through uh, the other ones so um you know I, I and i am apparently missing a lot of the story about this game because i haven't played through the other variations of the stories yet uh so it's not like you're replaying the same game again yeah like you are for That's the second part like you're playing a bit of it but you're in a different perspective and you're you're doing and seeing things completely differently and the gameplay is completely different and then the third part of the game is completely different absolutely from the ground up different and you're playing as a new character and then you play as all three you mm-hmm. know so it's just like I'm missing a lot of this game still, and it's still my number three. Uh, I love Platinum Games. I love Bayonetta fucking coming on Switch in a couple months. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and, uh, but this is like, they really refined, like, the, that tight style of combat system and put it into this game and, like, added robots and a scorched earth and uh, big bombastic, yeah. like, shit like, that you saw in Bayonetta as well, you know? Like, they well, just, that's, that's this the is thing. Their you're, saying, you're saying Bayonetta is this combat style? Then sign yeah. me the fuck up for Bayonetta. Like, Dude, I'm, yeah, but yeah. it's super. I'm sorry, lady. It's super sexy. Like, cause the, like it's just a really, but like it's empower. Like the game. That's why it doesn't get a lot of shit. Yeah. Like talk about a super empowered character who like uses her her sexuality as a weapon or whatever. Like it's like she's a cool fucking character, man. And right. like it's cool to like like uh, how crazy like Japan is. Just like to see them. Just like, hey, man, we're gonna go all out on this girl. Her entire suit's made of her hair, and her hair's mad. That's crazy. 
her hair is magic. So every every time she like transforms into something, she like gets practically naked, you know, and like transforms into that thing, and her hair like surrounds her. It's fucking nutty, dude. Watch Japan, a trailer. Dude. Hashtag uh, Japan. <laughs> it's the same exact combat system, except anytime you you're gonna love this. Anytime you dodge something, time slows down to a crawl, and oh, then you can that's do awesome. lots of damage. Yeah. So that. and that's every, that's every time in Bayonetta. Yeah. And, and there's they do guns. they do that vaguely. But not to that extent. In you, it, it gets to that later in near. You can yeah. up, keep upgrading yourself until it comes to like a stop, like it does in Bayonetta. But like it's right off the bat in Bayonetta, and yeah. it's like a main focus is going into like butterfly time or whatever. I can't wait Shoot. to play the first one because I I want to get to the second one. I don't know if they're linear like that. Or it is, yeah, matters. yeah. Okay. And the first one is not outdone by the second one, but the second one is the greatest game of this genre ever created. And I I I keep on saying this tonight because we're talking about you know the best or whatever. Yeah, I will die on that hill it is the best yes. it is the best action combat combo based like uh, yeah. action game out there it's well i'm glad to hear so it. fucking and i'm i'm ecstatic to hear that it's coming to switch because i they did re-release this stuff or remaster it for uh uh pc at least the first one right just the first one I think. yeah yeah um, and not to, not to go on to a platinum uh games like a uh, nerd boner or whatever mm-hmm. but they're re-releasing all the devil may cries which they created I do have all the list, way back yes. And they, those are coming out later this year on PS4, and I highly recommend getting that collection because yeah, all I've those games. Yeah, because I've never played a single one. So oh, I, it's my favorite. I one really of my favorite, to top ten favorite series of all time. I fucking love Devil May Cry. Awesome. Devil May Cry created Bayonetta, which created Nier. Like I, man, you yeah, respect the roots, you know. Like I, I, I love that. that Devil May Cry was like a shooter for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> there's guns in it, you know. Like you're you're shooting like you are in like near or Bayonetta. Like it's okay. part of your combo system. Well, then I'm gonna know? fucking love it then, because I this combat system is one that this is the type of shit that I that I love to play. It's this God action. of War. God of War is an, a combo based action, mm-hmm. art, you know, adventure. That's it's God of War. It's it's all those types of games, you know. It's Mac. You know, like, Mac. Everybody's favorite. Knack. Yeah, everyone's favorite Mac. You know, not on any of our lists. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, the internet. Yeah. Uh, man, I'm really Stop, happy it's so way, high on your list. Like cool things, cool. What was it? Just, uh, just the internet. I'm telling them to stop making like stupid things like cool. You oh, know? yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like out of like, you know, I don't know if it's just being funny or if people like generally like that, but let's let's get over it, guys. The latest it's thing not... to me in the movie world, and I'm sorry that I haven't seen it yet, I apologize, is The Greatest Showman. With yeah. Hugh Jackman, like the musical yeah, the about, Jack- about whatever Barnum, P.T. Barnum, whatever fuck. Yeah. That movie looks fucking stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> it looks really stupid. I know. Everybody I, I, loves it. It's like in the movie groups that we're in, it's like, oh, man, I'm, one of my favorite songs is this one. And I'm like, is this for real? Are people being for real or are they just making jokes? Like, I don't. I'm so con- Or it's like the Zack Snyder being <sighs> God or whatever and calling him Zaddy. Uh, yeah, that I, I'll never. I'm like, there's no way that you really believe that. And then, like, you you really talk to someone, and you're like, right. oh, this guy. Oh no, he means it. He really means it. Oh, yeah, no. like, he's, <laughs> he's willing to make himself look like an idiot, right? To make me know that he believes it. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't shit talk uh, greatest. I can shit talk all day, Zack Snyder, but I shouldn't shit talk um, the greatest showman. I haven't seen it. We're talking about the trailers. If you uh, told me, hey, Kyle, watch this trailer. Do you want to see this movie? I'd watch a trailer and get up and go, no. Yeah, it's just oh, it doesn't look good like visually. Like it just looks ugly and super basic. Like that's the best word I can use to describe how that movie strikes me. It's yeah. like, oh, it's a generic musical. It's Mamma Mia, but about P.T. Barnum. Like it just doesn't look good. <laughs> it's, it's exactly that. It's exactly what it is. By the way, when I watched uh, a recent movie, I think it was The Post. When I watched The Post, they played a Mamma Mia sequel trailer in front of it. And I'm like, who fucking asked for this? That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, in front of both like super nerdy movies that Star Wars and Thor, they played that uh, Jamie uh, Bell fucks an old lady movie trailer before both of oh those my movies. God. And I'm like, Film, raise the yeah. room! Like, I mean, I'm that maybe that movie's gonna be good. I have no idea. I've heard but it's incredible. What the fuck? But like, that is so jarring. It makes no yeah. sense to put it in front of that movie. It's like putting Call Me Star- By Your Name in front of it. There in the audience, you know? Like, it's like not that co- loving an older lady is bad or anything, but that, come on, you know? Like, we're here to watch Star Wars, not Jamie Bell fuck yeah. some old lady. Like, fortunately, my, my last Jedi uh, midnight screening was all trailers that were nerdy shit, and it was awesome. Uh, that's that's what you go for for those movies. Uh, but yeah, like it's like playing "Call Me by Your Name" trailers like in front of Star <laughs> Wars last Jedi. 
<laughs> you're kind of like, what the fuck is this doing in front of the last jet? It makes no sense. Like, that's crazy. I can't believe. <laughs> Famous people don't die in Liverpool or something. I forget. Film what it's stars called. don't die in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, yeah. Fa- and that fa- Benny's fa- in it. Yeah. Um, that, who's a who was a fox one time? Let's get real. But uh, she's she was in 20th Century Women earlier in 2017. Mm-hmm. Uh, y'all can say it's a 2016 movie all you want. It didn't come out f- towards me. I hate that. January. When people are like, that's a 2016 movie, I'm like, don't, don't. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll go qualified for an Oscar. Oh, Oscar set calendars? I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. That's great that they determined that February is now January. <laughs> like it's, or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, she was fantastic in that, and it's kind of weird seeing like that she's getting these crazy r- good roles, and like, pe- there's a sect of people that talk about how fucking good those movies are and how good yeah. she is in them, but she doesn't really get anything for them. <laughs> she's just kind of like there, you know. Uh, it's kind of it's unfortunate. Uh, yeah. I do want to see that movie though, only because of the buzz that I've been seeing on on Twitter. I mean, yeah, again, like I'd watch it uh, if I heard a lot, I haven't heard anything about it. So if you yeah. do your Classic. yeah it's one of the ones guys uh, you know right. we'll go watch it as, as as jd and i do but like i'm not trying to watch that before star wars i'm trying to get pumped you yeah, know i want to exactly. see avengers i want to see avengers you know i don't want to still... see jamie bell porking some old lady your description of jamie bell fucks an old lady <laughs> that movie <laughs> like that's so brilliant <laughs> oh man um i was gonna say that it's also like showing and i want to see the shit out of this movie phantom of thread the paul times Sanderson movie yeah doesn't make sure. sense to show that before last jedi like read again read the room yeah that was a, that was in front of ours also yeah what uh, the fuck that's again, so I was like i'm gonna see the shit out of this movie not pumped for star wars <laughs> after watching yeah. that trailer you know like <laughs> Oh, like they man. played Infinity War before mine, and everybody was lost their shit. And then they Ours went was right the to Lucasfilm and played the scroll for Last Jedi, and everybody again was so hyped. People were screaming all the way through the halfway point of the credits rolling. Yeah, uh, and everyone loved it when we walked out of that theater. Only for nine hours later for me to figure <laughs> out the world hated it. It was yes. so it was the, the most bizarre experience I'd ever had in my yeah. entire life. Everybody was uh, was really hype for it in the theater there was applause in my theater uh, Dude, at least half the theater standing ovations at the end of mine like, wow oh my they were that passionate people about loved it. it yeah people were hyped in my theater i think it's funny too though like walking into the theater i was hearing people going uh with saying things in a tone that sounded like they were complaining like mm-hmm. you know what that sounds like where it's like yeah. well and then you had the guy and the thing and the, uh, and i'm like oh fuck they're talking about last jedi <laughs> like they're oh, not no. happy with it <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, fuck that opinion, you know? Um, just go in, try to go in with an open mind, I guess. And I try to do that with every movie. Um, I really do. I genuinely do. Like, if yeah. Justice League was good, I would be talking about how good I it was. I will say that uh, I did, for my very first time, go in knowing I'd hate a movie with Justice League this year. We all heard it. We heard it in Lifetime all year, so That's I'm not going to sit here. <laughs> and and yet we still collectively on this podcast admitted that Superman fighting the Justice League was pretty fucking cool. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. But you guys probably had more of an open mind. I like on the podcast literally said I'm w- gonna hate watch this movie on purpose. So <laughs> <laughs> there was no sub- like objectivity going into that into that viewing. At I get all, it so. though. It's like me. Sorry, and Justice League. Sorry, I didn't give you a fair shake. I guess. It's like me and Covenant or uh, Alien Covenant, and uh, which which should I be bigger really than Star try- Trek and Star Wars, apparently. I um, let it all go. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Dude. I like how he's like, I think I'm going to make a Blade Runner 3. I'm like, don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare right now. Like, you are on a I roll. I find you and poison your drinks. Right yeah, you got to poison, exactly. <laughs> like, we're going to, Michael Fassbender is going to be in that in seven roles, and he's going to be useless in all seven of them. <laughs> uh, so, like, I just foresee everything that you're doing. Um, and I, I went in the Covenant, man. To- I was just like, dude, I'm ready to like this movie. Like, they stripped away the Prometheus name. Yeah. Like, it's Aliens. I know you said earlier in the year, the like, huge like, dude, it's Prometheus 2. And I'm like, well, man, okay. But still, I was just like, this is going to be like an Aliens movie. It wasn't. Yeah. And it made it very clear immediately this is a Prometheus movie. Yeah, it did. <laughs> and, and that it was going to be as stupid as the first movie. Uh, so I, I, I lost hope pretty quick in that movie. And then the flute scene happened, and I was just like, I hate this movie. What the fuck? <laughs> Why are you watching this? Like, it was one of those five o'clock in the that morning. That was an like, alien yeah, movie. Get... Oh my god! <laughs> it was one of those five a.m. watches. I was like, let me just get this one out of the way. You know, it's just uh, funny to think about like a movie like that is an alien franchise movie, and there's a fucking flute scene in it, 
And you don't, you just don't think long. of things in that context. Dude, and it, but it's long, it's a long scene. Like, yeah, it is. It's way too long. long. Let me show <gasps> you how to play. You stick your head over that egg that obviously has an alien in it and see what's in there. Holy shit. I don't know, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right, uh, enough rants rant. on that. Uh, we're on my number two now. We're we're cutting we're cutting it close to the actual end of this. Uh, my six, number six. two, both of my number one and my number two are pushes. My number two is South Park, a fractured. Your number two is South Park. My number That's two is awesome. the fractured. However, Fuck yes. However, Hull. <laughs> I'm not. This is not a low class <laughs> podcast. Okay, we're not going to go good. there. Um, this game was is just more impressive than I even expected it to be, which is crazy because I already had high expectations. Um, like, Stick of Truth I played three times, and that game was everything I wanted from a South Park game. And this was that plus even more references and and more um, actual like character arcs, like with, with Stan's dad, um, Randy, with him being like drunk. Can you guys find out who's key in my car? And it's fucking him drunk. And then, <laughs> and then you got to fight him while he's wine drunk, uh, which is a hilarious like gag in itself. Like he's wine drunk, gives him extra powers and knocks yeah. out the fucking extra like your partners and stuff. That's so <laughs> fucking funny to me. Um, and for this to create a tolerance for me on turn-based gaming, which is what led me to Persona 5 and being more open to that, you know, because mm. this one did require, the mechanics of this game required a little bit more patience in the turn-based system because you're, some of them you don't even do a move. You, you, uh, you're you moving them. You're yeah. literally just moving them like a chessboard. And then you're like, okay, let's go to the next player. You know, let's take a fucking beating. Um, so, I mean, there's definitely more patience in this gameplay and Persona 5 isn't like, isn't like that at all. Like, it's just... <laughs> It Dude, if, there, the if, if the bad it. guys are attacking you in that mm -hmm. game, you've done something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you need to stack your attacks, bro. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, fractured butthole, but butthole, 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 butthole. Uh, genius. Again, I think I mentioned on the podcast too that uh, whoever the whoever the one of the creators is of South Park, genius way to to sneak in butthole into a title. <laughs> I know. They were looking for any way to get that in there. I, I'm pretty sure he wanted originally like asshole or something like that. And he yeah. was like, butthole. How can I put butthole in there? And so he just wrote it on a board, like <laughs> butthole. And he was like, how do we separate this? I could this? see like his mind too, or just like a spider web graph <laughs> right. of just like potential right. blah, 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 butthole. <laughs> yeah. I just, I feel like it's just South Park is just one of my favorite things to exist. And this does touch on many things uh, in in the South Park world that fans can appreciate while also creating new jokes for you while also touching on things that are relevant like cops and uh, how they um, steal like black people and stuff. And racism. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I say steal black people in the game. They're stealing black people, but like they have, they created like this, uh, they created this whole story to kind of justify their discriminatory actions and stuff. It's an outrageous reason. Um, it's in classic South Park fashion. Though, of course. Know? They take something yeah. so simple, like it's yeah. because they're racist, you know, and go, no, they're actually part of a secret society that they have <laughs> right. that's been keeping a demon at bay, you know, just and on and on. It just, <laughs> right. oh my God, it's and so it ridiculous. And it also points out uh, how our heroes are racist too, like people that idolize, uh, what's his name? Um, H. HR Puff and stuff. I don't fucking remember his name. Who? <laughs> the guy who who named who named the monster that's in South Park that we can't say the name because it's offensive. <laughs> oh, the N word monster. Let's go ahead and call yeah. him that because right. that's his actual name and it's a real monster that exists. It's a real monster. It's go uh, look it up. <laughs> what's what's his name? H something hp lovecraft. That's who it is. Oh, hp lovecraft. lovecraft. Okay. Yeah, and so like he is. I mean. He's racist as fuck, and the game points it out too. Like, it's like, not like he was really racist. Oh, he was really racist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just the monster's name. It's not like he was racist. Like the game's even calling it out too. Yeah, like, right. And then yeah, somebody whispers in his ear. Oh. There's no way he was really racist. <laughs> oh no, he was really racist. Oh, he was really racist. <laughs> <laughs> and I love the scene before that that happens where like you. I don't know if they didn't have time to animate something dramatic or if they were just like, this is going to be a good, good joke where you're in the dark or whatever. And this guy's being attacked by like a, a cat or whatever. That's like a mutant cat. And oh, he's yeah. being totally brutal. Oh God. Now the cat's looking at me. Now he's staring at me. Oh God. Now he's coming towards me. 
what's gonna happen it's so dark in here and when you turn the lights on all the action is done yeah and you can see the dude is dead as fuck and there's just aftermath of like you know whatever the fuck it was that attacked him um whatever anyway that that was funny for them to plug in there because the whole time you're like why didn't they just animate this part <laughs> um, yeah fair. I, yeah, and that's it's the a, gag. And it's a longer game too. Like, there's it delivers so much more. I'm I'm kind of like yeah. I kept playing it, going, man, this game's not ending, and I love it. I, I just keep going, man. Well, just yeah. Once it. I got like past like lo- like player level ten, I'm like, well, I figured that was gonna be the cap. Yeah. I go, well, how many more levels are there? You know, like how many more player levels? Like this is crazy. Um, and I I still don't know. I don't know what the max level is in that game. Uh, I don't either. Good point. Um, because I don't think I achieved it either. I think I just ended as it was still happening. It was like 13, 14. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was about where you end the game. And I love the ending of the game too, was like a very, um, it felt very much like a South Park episode ending. Yeah. You know, where it just kind of ends and you're like, oh, that's a kick in the balls. That's hilarious. Like, yeah. That's so good. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. <laughs> and then they just move on to the next thing. Like, because yeah. that's, that's what people do. They, so, you know, they select what to be outraged about and focus on it until they can yeah. select another thing to be outraged about. Um, man, it's just such a brilliantly written game. It's probably the this best. This game doesn't get enough love, man. Yeah, like it's just there's a lot of like, oh, I couldn't get really through the past hour or the first hour. It's, it's like, crazy. what do you mean you couldn't get through the first hour? That's just crazy. Man. I don't know. I thought it was gonna be more. I'm like, it does become what? It's like that's the first hour. Like uh, <laughs> every game becomes more after yeah. the first hour. You know, like that's what a stupid thing to say. Yeah, and um, that's why a lot of my games aren't games that I've played just one hour. <laughs> like I left yeah. out games on purpose. Um, it just makes no sense to me. Yeah. Um, you know, oh, it's just more of the same. Yeah, I mean, that's what we want, right? Yeah, it's South Park. But it wasn't. I thought South they Park. added a lot of new stuff in this game. I, did, I thought they did, too. Especially, yeah. like, just some of the gags and some of the parts of the city that you just never visited, or the town that you never visited before, yeah. um, or realized that were there. Uh, and I, I love to the, uh, there, there was something specifically I wanted to cite that I can't remember what it was now. Shit. There's so much going on in the game, everybody. Just trust me. Uh, it just creates creates its own jokes for you to recite, and it's that's what's hilarious about the game uh, too. Um, it's not just like, hey, member. It, there are member berries in it, but it's yeah, not. You just... collect those instead of chip Pokemon, which is great, right? Um, and it's not just like the whole time member. Oh no, the uh, the the major collectible is the uh, the tweak tweak and Craig thing. The tweak oh yeah, you're right. Art. You're right. That was what's funny. <laughs> And some of them are like Life is strange love. Yeah, exactly. Uh, one of them was like a Life is Strange homage or whatever because uh, they were like in a storm and uh, it was like uh, kind of like a Chloe and Max drawing or whatever. Um, I think the developer pointed that out. They were like, hey, look at this. This this is kind of like Life is Strange because they uh, called it before the storm or something. Uh, um, anyway. That's cool. Yeah, I know, man. That's a deep fucking reference. That's super cool, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, great game. That's my number two, and it's for a reason. I'm probably going to play it again. Oh, I like that they introduced a new element of the game, like, in the story, uh, as as you were nearing the end. Um, I guess I should just kind of spoil it. Spoilers for the next two minutes. But they introduced time travel in the game. And yeah. I thought that was really fucking cool. Like, right when the game was like, oh, man, where are we going to go with this? It's probably just going to... It's probably just going to wind down, and nope, it's South Park. It, it winds yeah. up even more, gets more crazy, and you time travel yeah. to fighting yourselves when you're playing uh, Stick of Truth, uh, which is fucking hilarious and genius. Yeah. Um, it is funny. God damn it. Yeah, I love the game a lot, and I felt that it needed higher representation, too, um, for the lack of love, you know, in a loaded year. It's a South Park game, you know? Yeah, like exactly. Yeah, I don't know. Come on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> And on top of them finishing this game, they were able to focus on a great quality season this year. Yeah. Um, which feels like maybe they were held back a little bit the last couple of seasons working on this game because it's just hard to juggle two things. I don't know. Um, but I feel like this season felt like classic South Park. Um, and it's just good for to see them deliver on two fronts. And I heard their mobile game is hilarious. Um, and it kind of is. It, but it's I stupid. hear things. I, I hear things. things. I hear things. I hear things. Uh, so what's your number two? Uh, my number two is uh, Persona 5. Oh, so it was like a slight push. Cool. It was like a slight push, yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, this may have been my number one this year just because of... Man, I just fucking love it, but I didn't beat it. So, you know, like I'm still working my way through it. Um, it's a long game. It's That's, a demanding game. It's the only uh, reason it's like not number one for me is like... 
keep there's just no way i'm gonna beat that fucking game <laughs> if you if you push through it a little further you're gonna need to keep start keeping notes or something yeah. i lost my notes so i picked it up the other day and it was just like it's tuesday so i need to be oh did that note get deleted from my phone <laughs> Ooh, yeah my whole schedule's gone you know so i have no idea what i'm supposed to be doing in my game anymore so now I have to, like, what do I start the fucking game over? Oh, my God. <laughs> or do I just flub a week or two to figure out what my schedule is? Which, I didn't even consider that. Oh, which, shit. Which would, like, set me back. But, like, you know, I could flub a week or two and probably still get the good ending. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, it's a very demanding game, man. Uh, this is not, like, your normal, like, oh, I'm just going to, like, pick up this game and play it. There are moments where you can, like, whenever you're, like, in the middle of fighting and stuff like that. Yeah. Once you get a good groove going on, like, yeah, you could sit in there for a couple hours and just kill things and, uh, spaced out or whatever. But anytime you're not doing that, you're really invested in this game, um, you know, um, and, and both, like, the characters and the story and not only that, but, like, just, like what you're doing you know like you can't like not be passively paying this game it's all text you're constantly reading you're constantly listening you're constantly doing something the story is always like developing you know uh so if you're not into that you know if that's not that's not that's not for you like you're gonna hate this game um and that's not for a lot of people a lot of people don't have the patience for that they just want to kill the stuff mm -hmm. and like killing stuff in this that's like 25 percent of this game you know it's like not very much of this game is fighting, you know? Yeah. Um, but when you do fight, it's cool, you know? Yeah, like but you actually, have, that's but, kind of what I love about it. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, the, the fighting like is really cool. Games. Um, it's, um, you know, you have a, um, I don't want to call it a rock, paper, scissors system, but it is kind of that, you know? Like, one element beats out another, which beats out another, which beats out another. And it, you're constantly trying to find your enemy's weakness by exploiting it. And you'll know it the more you fight these enemies, which is another reason you don't want to stop playing these games. Because now whenever I come across an enemy, I'm like, were you fire? Or were you dark? <laughs> That's a good Because if I use the wrong thing, you're going to party wipe me. <laughs> so... Then I have to reload and all that stuff. So, like, it's going to be some, again, it's going to be some growing pains getting back into this game. Uh, but, like, yeah, you have to really be on your toes. Like, okay, you're ice, so I'm going to use fire. What that does is it weakens you. You lose your turn. I steal your turn. I get to attack again. But if I attack your buddy, I can steal his turn. And then I can just keep on bouncing and stealing turns until I run out of turns to steal. And then you get your turn. But guess what? You're so weak, like, your attacks aren't really doing anything to me or you're going to miss or whatever. So... Mm -hmm. It's it's really strategic if you really like, get into like the you know all the if you manipulate your dice if you know what I mean because right. it's all like it's all dice rolls you know like uh, whatever if you're gonna hit them or not like it, they have stats you have stats there's some math going on in the background and then a dice gets rolled like it does in Dungeons and Dragons you can help your dice be like you know be loaded you know by using the elements to your advantage you know and I think that's really cool like you're you're taking a little bit more uh, of the of the fade away, you know, and you're you're getting it in your back into your own hands, which turn-based fighting tends to do, which tends to turn off a lot of people. I don't know if that's what bothers you about it, if it's just not so engaging, mm -hmm. but I know a lot of people who've hated turn-based fighting. Uh, when they've explained it to me, they're like, I just hate whenever I press a button and I just miss for no reason. Like, why? Why do I miss? I hit, you know, I hit attack, and it's like, well, you know, there's math going on back there or whatever. Yeah. There's stats going on, but people can't wrap their head around that, so... Uh, this game, I think, kind of puts things back into your hands a little bit, so you can kind of manipulate which <clears throat> elements you're using and get your turns back, and I, I really like that about that, the... Uh, that would definitely turn me off to a turn-based style game. <laughs> That's for sure. What's that? Oh, yeah, if you're yeah, just, if missing, you're just like, missing, and I'm like, well, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, because it's that large. Well, you see, if you go in and look at your dexterity, and then you go and look at the enemy's code and their dexterity, and yeah. then you... <laughs> it's too much. For me to just want to attack something, it's like too much to look into. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Persona 5 has a turn-based style uh, type of attacking or combat that you... It, it's just more fast-paced. Like, it's literally, I'm done, and then I'm moving on. I mean, you know, like, it's just... it. It's more fast-paced than even Fractured, uh, however, whole. Uh, it's, it, it, just, it, is. it just is. And it's more stylish, too. So, I mean, that's... Style earns a ton of points for me. And, I mean, it's why it elevated itself so high to my list. And in, in my list is, like... There's no other game that looks like this, like, period. Um, no. I mean, not that I've played. I don't play a lot of JRPGs, so I apologize if I'm ignorant or whatever, but it, it just feels like an entirely fresh look to me. Um, no, it's, uh, this is this game is unlike any other game, you know? It, it yeah. maybe have, like, um, kind of the art style that other Persona games have had, but, like, nothing has ever been this loud. You know, like, this is a very loud game in, um, in, in a really good way. Not yeah, in, like, an yeah, absolutely. I agree. 
And like God of War is loud, like in a bad way to me, where I'm just like, oh, I get it. You're mad. Your kids are dead. Whatever. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he does do that a lot. And then the music swelling, <laughs> big music. You know, it's just like, God, I can't breathe in that game. It's so fucking. <laughs> right. I know exactly what you mean, though. The co- the colors. It's just more yeah, vibrant. The, the and, colors yeah. and, again, the style, which is very noticeable. And just um, and it deals with uh, with real kind of dark shit, too. Despite it's a cartoon-y type of anime appeal, you, you're still dealing with, like, adult shit for it being, like, oh, you're a teenager. You know, like, this, this teacher that abuses his students and sexually... Yeah, you get party kids. members who are gay, you know, yeah. who are coming kind of to terms with that. You get party members who... Um, you know, are trying to go into modeling, but you know, they don't, models don't really get treated very well. So, yeah. like, you're kind of dealing with that, you know, and like you're dealing with all these different facets and different like minds and stuff like that. And it's so engaging. Right. Again, if you're into that, I can see why some people are just like, I don't give a shit about this blonde haired Japanese girl in the middle of in, in this video game, you know, like I have no qualms with like whatever her life is going. Like, if you don't like light slice of life stuff, yeah, it's not going to resonate with you in any right. way, but like. You and I, we like Life is Strange and shit like that. Like, this yeah. kind of stuff. Like, this... Not, I don't want to call it teeny bopper, but this... this, I mean, slice of life is the right term. It, type of storytelling is 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 good, you know? It's real. Yeah. It's something everyone can sink their teeth into. Yeah. If you let it. It, it, you know? it. And I... Well, I don't know if I let it as much as it totally just had me. <laughs> like, it just... I let it take yeah. me over and I totally married it on an island. <laughs> uh, Fiji. In Fiji. <laughs> is that an island? That's not an island. Whatever. Yeah. Sure. Is it? Sure it is. It's Fiji Island. Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Fiji is an island. All right, cool. I actually know something. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. That's hey, a... Hey, folks, we learned something here today. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, Persona 5 is probably my biggest... Uh, I mean, Destiny 2 was... I called it my biggest surprise. I guess Persona 5 could qualify as that, considering how high it is and how... I just wrote that genre off in that style and everything. Um, mm-hmm. It's not for me. I'm American or whatever the fuck ignorant shit yeah, I was all talking that about. Stuff. Uh, but honestly, really, Fractured Butthole did really influence a lot of my tolerance for like, okay, I should probably try, you know, at least try Persona 5 because everybody was talking about it. You were talking, not just you, but like everybody in the gaming group and stuff was talking about how far they are and um, and how much it offers. And I'm like, why would I not like this game? Especially based on all the YouTube stuff I saw, you know, like, it just yeah. felt like a no-brainer. I should buy it and try it. And then it becomes a, <laughs> the game becomes a thing where it's like, all right, I'll play one more day. I'll play one more day. You know, like, right. You just keep wanting to play and play. Well, it. and that's the thing, like the one more day, because like you don't know how long that day is going to be, and they're no, sometimes they're really short, sometimes they're really long, yep. sometimes there's a big event, sometimes they're not. It depends on where you locate yourself at yeah. the end of that day, you know. And that's what's cool about it. You're going to have like different things, and there's so much going on in this game. I there's not even so like. In ja- in Japan, like after school, like social clubs are like really big or whatever. So like fencing club and then basketball. Like there's none of that in this game, and I kind of don't miss it because if it wasn't here, I'd be so like, oh god, I, that's too much now. Yeah, uh, but yeah, you I don't agree. miss that stuff at all. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but even though that was in kind of past games, because you're still doing so much. There's so many what they there's call a lot social going on. It, yeah, not just in gameplay, but in story that I would be like, oh, yeah. this is another thing now. Yeah. When I, I I got lost going to school that first day, where they're like, "All right, just hop on the train yeah, and do this like, and go just, right," and know, I'm just... like, "Do what now?" <laughs> exactly. I kept having to so ask then people I, like, get "Where the I fuck got do off I my go?" First train, and I'm like, "Oh, that didn't take me to school." Oh, because he did say I had to get off and get on. Oh no, what the fuck did he say? And it was, I, I kind of felt like I was a kid in the city for the first time. You yeah. know, I was like, "Where the fuck do I go?" This is kind of crazy. Um, so they kind of nailed that, you know, uh, but once you know the city, like you're getting around really quick and yeah. then you have the hot, like the quick jumps or whatever. So you never even have to actually walk like in the world. You can just kind of hop to everything. Thank like, God. Quick, I don't want to talk with these fucking people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't want to fuck, fuck open these worlds. People. Um, yeah. So that's, that's it for the two through 10. I, we can cover some on men's real quick, real quick. Like on men's, uh, what do you, uh, what do you, what do you, what you got? Uh, I got a Gravity Rush 2. I have not played enough of it to put it on a list or even think yeah. about how good it is, but the first two it's hours are uh, cool. Yep. I really like it. Yep. Uh, I really like the uh, gravity in that game. Yeah, Feels the good. traversal stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. It's Feels I good. agree. I did play that. I like the style a lot. Um, I haven't played Art more of it, cool. I really like it, too. It's, uh, it's good. Yeah, I like it. Uh, um, I think some ones that you already mentioned, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, Andromeda, Nier, 
Um, Shadow of War has to be an honorable mention then. Shadow of War is on mine, yeah. Mm-hmm. Was there For a reason sure. that it didn't crack? You know, this? Uh, this is one of my most anticipated games of the year. And then when I came out and I was playing it, I realized I was just playing it, and I was never like, "Wow, wow like wow, like Owen Wilson oh. wowing or anything like that." Oh, I'm just like, okay. "Oh, I'm just, I'm just, and this is just fun or whatever." It didn't it didn't wow me. I don't know. There was no wow yeah. factor to that game. It was just the same stuff as the last game, but kind of on a bigger scale. I did have one wow moment where like I took my first fortress and defended my first fortress, and that was really cool. Yeah. But that's literally the only thing cool, uh, cool uh, that's new about that game. Oh, that's okay. everything else is just as good as it was, and I really like that first game a lot. So it's not a knock on it or anything. It's just there's not a lot new or innovative to like push it forward. So. Well, that's a, that's a bummer because I do I did I did intro myself to that game and played a, few, a first few hours and yep. I was like man the combat's really cool and stuff it just felt familiar but like yeah, we were in new environments weird. and they, that that was cool um, there was one fucking guy who kept tracking me down and killing me and I hated that fucking guy yeah that's, that's <laughs> I was the, like I'm under level beauty Go of away. that game and I think that like you're in so many areas and there's so many orcs like the rival system just didn't feel yeah. as cool you know that's true because like he's like oh oh remember you They're around every corner uh, we're best enemies and I'm like who are you you know like <laughs> and I, I shouldn't be saying that like you're my enemy you know like I should remember cutting your head off or whatever you know like I should remember right. that but <laughs> you just bleed into all the get million orcs I've slayed this entire game sorry. <laughs> Uh, some ones that you would have heard of I have in my list. I have Cuphead. I believe it's pronounced Cuphead. Oh, C- Cuphead? Cuphead. I played the first level of the game. I, like I did it. too. And actually, I played a few. I played a few levels. One of them was like a speed run, and then another one was an actual boss fight, and I had to like look up like, how the fuck do I beat this guy? Because uh, there's a certain part where you just get hit no matter what, and I'm like, do I, what do I, am I an idiot? What's going on? And I was like, oh, there's a <laughs> duck button. <laughs> I was such uh, a moron. <laughs> What? <laughs> but really, this game is all about the style, like the art style, style of it specifically. It's phenomenal to look at. Um, it's fucking, it's literally a cartoon from that era, dude. It's insane. Yeah. Uh, how the music they... is spot on. Oh, yeah, the music is great. Uh, Gameplay wise, though, I'm like, oh, this is like Dark Souls type of torture, level torture. I, I'm not good at this game. I'm not going to keep playing it. Like, it's mm-hmm. just so fucking hard to me. Uh, that I couldn't, I just couldn't do it. Um, but it is an honorable mention, honorable mention worthy at least. Little Mi- little nightmares. Did you play that one at all? No, I, oh. I wanted to pick that up on uh, sale, and I didn't get it either. So uh, that and Night in the Woods. Uh, oh, nice. Was, like, okay. Two ones that like I, I know that I missed that I would probably really enjoy. I yeah, I know you'd enjoy Night in the Woods. I totally forgot that that one was uh, PS4. That's PS4, right? Yeah. Uh, totally forgot about that. But yeah, The Little Nightmares does have some inside vibes to it. And again, I hate to, I don't know why I keep mentioning uh, Tim Burton as like the main person I think of with this type of He's back stuff. in gaming, guys. He's back in gaming. He's a huge thing. Uh, he's not. Um, <laughs> and his work still sucks lately, but whatever. <laughs> but Edith Finch and like then this one, like just remind me of like, remember the, you know, Beetlejuice type shit? You know, it just reminds me yeah. of that color palette and that darkness and that type of uh the humor within the darkness and stuff that's that's somewhat present um it's just a great again art direction is insane and all the style and stuff and it's a year for that dude it's a good year for like fucking just style like it's all just very visual mm-hmm. and uh i didn't i didn't get very it's a three-hour game but i didn't get very there was a part that i got stuck at and i just never revisited it um, one that you'll have though is Hellblade. I'm, I'm pretty sure as an honorable. Yeah, I was right? actually just about to say that. That's mm-hmm. what my relationship with Hellblade. Uh, it's like a three-hour game, but I got to some part and I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> was does did the puzzles part? Get, I, cause yes, I had, I had the YouTube some of the puzzle stuff. Does that get repetitive or what? No, man, I hated that stuff. Oh, like okay. I, lo- I think this game is like near perfect. I'm like, man. The sound design in this game is awesome. Yeah, like this game is awesome. like top ten yeah. material for me, and I, I I don't mind the combat. Like it's very Dark Soulsies, where it's about dodging and parrying and getting in there and hitting and I'm getting okay back with the combat, and hitting. Actually, you know? yeah, it's totally fine to me, you know. And everyone's get real. Uh, and I don't like puzzles, so I know that there's already some bias there. But like, it sounds like a lot of people don't like the puzzles in this game. Yeah, so. they're just not. They're just like the mirror puzzle. Did you get to that one? No, I haven't. I was oh. doing the first part where you get to the first god or whatever, and uh, the guy with, the, with all the fire or whatever the fuck, and uh, you beat him. Um, 
and yeah that's the part where it's like you have to mirror or well, not mirror but like a shape follows you around and you have to like kind of match it with something in the environment and uh, I was just kind of like, this isn't even like that appealing of a puzzle. <laughs> like it's, it's just at least make it fun or appealing. Like when I'm doing something in Mario, that's like a puzzle. Like how do I do this? And you figure it out. You're like, oh, duh, you jump on it. Yeah. Or you know, um, it just didn't at least put some more. It just didn't feel like puzzles for intellectuals. It felt like I'm, I'm an idiot and they're treating me like an idiot. <laughs> like it's just idiot. <laughs> and yet they're making it harder than it is, even though it's just match a shape. You know, it's yeah. just, uh, whatever. It's just not very detailed. Uh, but I did everything else about the game is fucking flawless. That's, that's, yeah, I agree for with For sure. That. Like all the God, animations and stuff. Awesome. It looks incredible. Like the facial animations are, oh my God. It's like next level. This is like the type of shit you show people. Like, look how far we've come in gaming in terms of facial animations. That's crazy. Um, yeah. And she wasn't even an actress, right? She was just like one of the developers and they asked her to do it, right? Yeah, yeah. She was one of the... Uh, she did something on the dev team, and yeah. uh, she was just a stand-in, and they're like, uh, actually, you're really good. Do you want to be the girl? And uh, she now she won and a bunch she, of awards. Yep, and then she <laughs> won the game award for, like, best performance or whatever, which is yeah. very well much deserved. deserved yeah. Yeah. Uh, what are some other ones? Oh, um, everything else I have you haven't played, I don't think. So do you have some others? Yeah, I've got some others. Okay. Uh, I probably should have mentioned Fortnite earlier because it didn't come out this year, but it's oh. been out for a couple years. Very fun game. Mm-hmm. Enjoying it quite a bit. Um, I uh, have uh, PUBG on here. Uh, I refuse to put that in my top ten because that game is a fucking mess. But it's so fucking fun to play. Uh, it's a goddamn okay, that's mess. Funny. It's a goddamn mess. It and people who like, even uh, what's one of those games? Those games that are just like a technical mess. It's like a horror game. The one you're like the last survivor or whatever. Um, I don't know. Dead Man, by Daylight the... or something like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Like you're like, Friday this is glitchy as fuck. What the fuck game. is happening? And it's just fun. Um, Goat Simulator, it's like that shit. But yeah, not as it's not, like that, that's man. Like in the, and those types of games always come up, hey man, we, we should make this game of the year. And if you're one of those people, like, dude, get bent. Like, come on, man. <laughs> like, there are some fucking flawless games that came out this year that were yeah, like no technical shit. achievements. Yeah. And you're trying to give this janky ass broken game. Like, game of the year nods? Like, come on, man. Like, make a new category and go most trending game of the year, uh, most fun or whatever, you know. But, like, yeah. come on. You cannot give it best game of the year. If it would have won over Zelda at the Game Awards, man, I would have never watched the Game Awards again. <laughs> I would have been that I would have rallied with you on that one. I would have been like, I did hear about bullshit. that stuff. Like, I know these words don't mean anything, but this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> right. <laughs> um... But yeah, it's just it's totally crazy. Um, yeah, I, still I love get that, that game. Jump on it with you sometime. You dude, you should. I mean, it's so fucking fun. It's so ridiculous how fun it is. I overlook all the flaws, and it doesn't even matter. And whenever I'm shooting, and they're shooting, and we're finally shooting, and like it's like jacking me around everywhere, like the aim and stuff like that. I'm not mad because they're going through the same exact stuff. It's just like everyone shoots bad in that game, because like it's such a janky game, you know. Like so. Every you're on pretty even playing field. You know what I mean. If someone's mm-hmm. shooting at you, they're probably gonna miss, and you have enough time to like turn around and like react and stuff like that. Um, it's been very few times I've just been ganked where I'm like, how did that even happen? <laughs> right. Like I know what the fuck happened every time I die. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my my uh, not to go on too much of a tangent. That my my strategy in that game is to find a house, find after I get my gear, and just stay in that house. Oh okay. And, That's and solid it's really actually. creepy though because every single sound like you're hearing footsteps you're hearing people shoot outside and you're just like if they come through the store i'm fucking blasting them mm-hmm. you know but you don't know if that door is ever going to open or not but it just builds up this like really cool um tense moment you know that like you're i'm just not getting in a lot of games uh it's a lot of fun man i feel like i'm okay at it too i'm, I'm averaging at 20 or below right now never below 10 though so oh, all right 10 and 20 out of 100 oh well that's Hey, that's not bad, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I guess. I mean I'll I have to honestly I'll have to uh I'll have to jump on to just find out what, what all the hoopla is because you're not the only one that's playing that all the time. No, um, yeah, a lot of people in that group are. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh I have Observer, which was kind of a um kind of a walking simulator, but it it's stars what? Did you play this one? I wanted to play it, yeah. Oh, okay. It stars uh, the guy who played Worry Batty. What's his fucking name, man? Um, Rutger Hauer. Rutger Hauer. It stars oh, Rutger Hauer. Is it really? Yeah. And uh, he, you can, I mean, you can tell he's doing the voice too because he's got a deep, gravelly voice now. Um, 
But yeah, Observer Lightning is in the rain. It's a uh, cyberpunk horror game. That's how it's described. Where you play a guy who's like a detective in the future. In the future, and you can like hack into um, certain items and memories and stuff like that. Um, and you're trying to solve a case, and the vibe is very much like a horror game. But I didn't even get to that. Like I didn't play that much of it to where I even got to that part of it. Um, I was just like captivated by the environment because like everything is so Blade Runner esque. This is clearly clearly inspired by Blade Runner because they cast the fucking guy that was in it. Um, <laughs> uh, but Get this developer <laughs> did another game. I think they did a horror game before Layers of Fear. This is the same oh, team wow. that did Layers of Fear, and I really like that game. Yeah, you like that one. Uh, this, so this one's like that, I guess, but more futuristic. Obviously, there's way more sci-fi elements in it, and it's just really cool. Um, the other one I played was called Please Knock at My Door, which was way too fucking real for me, but it deserves a mention for tapping into that, like, because a video game, anytime it can pass through just being a game that you're holding a controller and it's literally just a game and it just affects you that way, it's totally going to get a mention for me. Um, this one is a game where, like, you play a guy, it's a top-down game, and the animation of it and the style of it is very specific. Again, it's just a good year for that. And uh, you play a guy that's just kind of going through the daily routine and you have a choice in the game. It's a very short game, 45 minutes uh, to an hour where you can choose to think about certain things or not. And some of those thoughts are pretty fucking dark and about depression and stuff. Um, And how like you just you just don't have anybody around you like Mm -hmm. he lives alone and stuff. And you're just trying to force yourself to do stuff as part of your daily routine um, to just pass the time, you know, like watching TV or chatting with people online or playing games or whatever. And it was just fucking real, man. Like I was like, man, these thoughts are like shit that just go through your head on. A, I mean, at least mine. And they, they tend to go through your head every now and then. And this dude's thinking all the time and it's just, yeah, touched a nerve this game, uh, but it's good. Mm-hmm. And for it being an hour long, it's that's crazy. That's crazy effective. how effective it was. Um, but yeah, now that's it for me. Do you have any others? Yeah, plenty. Um, I'll just keep it down to a couple though. Um, uh, not really an on men, but I will say that Injustice 2 had a really good storyline this year. Oh, it was cool. a way better story than Justice League, and uh, I just caught myself after playing the story going, uh, yeah, I don't really like fighting games, so I don't know why I bought this. <laughs> <laughs> story was great, though. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, really really good. Um, I just don't like fighting games, whatever. Uh, I'm in the same boat, uh, dude. Yeah. Forza is almost on my list every single year. I did not put this one on my list this year. Uh, it is on my on men's. Um, Forza 7 was really good. They had weather effects and all that stuff. It's, it's cool now. Um, I think I'm just kind of like more of a Horizon guy now, even though yeah. that's not a sim at all. Right. But like if I'm going to play a Forza or a racing game, I'm playing one racing game a year, maybe every two years, it's, it seems like now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, like, I want it to be a fun one. Like, I don't want it to be, like, my, my thinking racing game anymore. Uh, so, yeah, I just kind of, the entire time I was playing it, I was like, man, I kind of wish I was in Australia right now. You know, like, back barreling down the outback, but yeah, whatever. Oh, man, that game is something else. I love it. Yeah, and did so the Hot Wheels good. DLC come out? Because that could be a disqualified mention for me. Did it come out it this year? It came out this year, yeah. Because that is fucking incredible. That is totally a disqualified mention for me. Like, it doesn't really count yeah. the whole game. But what they've done with that environment, it's totally brought me back to my youth. And it's so cool, like, how you just, you enter a certain part of Australia, and suddenly you're in Hot Wheels land, and there's so many tracks and so much stuff to do. Um, It's so cool. I I, I didn't think it would fit. I was like, this sounds crazy. It's not going to work. I never even got to see it, so that's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's something else, man. While still Uh, maintaining its visual appeal, like, its visual um, quality. Uh, one I'll probably be going to back a lot this year is Ghost Recon Wildlands whenever my crew's online. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were trying to kill the Predator the other day. That was fucking awesome. I was like, That's why so did we cool. stop playing this game? Why did we stop playing this game? Like, <laughs> right. man, it was so cool trying to kill that guy. Like, and we still haven't killed him yet. He's a fucking chode, but I think you can't anymore. I think the event is over. So. Oh, that's such a bummer, but that's such yeah, a cool addition to that game. It was so cool. It was so fitting. Yeah, because like you'd be walking around. Nah, I said I wouldn't go into it, but oh well. You said you'd be walking around, and then the music will cue from the movie. The oh, sound man. effect of the predator will cue, and it just feels like you're playing a predator game. I'm like, man, I was just playing a Ghost Recon game, and then this mission started. You walk into a certain part of the jungle, and now I'm playing a fucking predator game. Yeah, like it's it's rad. Um, Good for them for, for securing that at least for. What's a that? Bit. I know. Yeah, yeah, it's super awesome. I hope it comes back. 
Um, and my biggest honorable mention, I guess I will say, because I'm like the biggest hater of this series, Assassin's Creed Origins. Man, yeah. man, this game is super good. Wow. Like, whoa. Wow. What a Surprise great open of the world. year right here, folks. Yeah, what a great open world. Like, didn't make my top ten just because I still haven't beaten it yet. Everyone's like, hey, all the stories at the end. I'm like, well, they shouldn't have done that. Um, they should put it at the beginning so you, you know, get through things quicker. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in the middle of the game right now, and I'm really enjoying it. The side missions are really well written. The open world is one of my favorite open worlds to explore because it's fucking Egypt, dude. And it's just so well realized. And the way that things are laid out are, is, is really simple and easy to kind of um, understand how to get to. Whereas, like, I'm playing a game called Xenoblade Chronicles right now, another honorable mention. I just haven't played a lot of it. It's on the mm-hmm. Switch. I can't figure out anywhere to go when I use that map, you know, and it's a kind of an open world game. I'm just like, oh, yeah. you're, this map is useless. Um, not the case in this game. It's just, um, man, just translates really easy to, 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 uh, to get to here and there. And um, you can fast travel across this huge open world and just be able to get you to places really quick, much like you can in any games. But the world is so big. Right. You're not running across it to get the things. There's no doing that. Right. I used to be that guy where I was just like, I want the immersion. I just want to like ride there. Nah, man. <laughs> yeah, I played like an hour of that game, and it's still in a very much in in in, in, in an introductory phase. Yeah, um, you don't get out into the main world and, no. for a bit. The game. Yeah, but I think it was still rad how it introduces you to everything at the outright. Like it just you're chasing a guy, you try to fight, you fight him and beat him or whatever, and then you go back to like your neighborhood with ever with whoever the fuck that guy is, like your brother or something, whatever. Um, I don't know. And it, it's just cool, like. You, everything around you like you're like oh i'm in egypt right now this is really cool yeah Um, it's super uh it's just it's one of those games where i feel like i need to be in the mood for it um and that's not genre a genre thing that's an assassin's creed thing despite people saying it's good it's different like trust me this one's good it's still me trying to like psych myself up a little bit like i I should prepare myself to play this game like i should probably yeah and unfortunately that first area is not is very Assassin's Creed. <laughs> so that first three hours of that game, I'm like, oh man, <laughs> like not. Did I get bamboozled again? Like man, like and then you get into first the Burger King. Like, oh, this is The Sorry. Witcher. <laughs> this is The Witcher. This is crazy. Oh, gotcha. All right, they wow. did it. They That's... they pulled off a real open world here. That's pretty hype. Not not that you're saying it's on Witcher quality wise. But... <laughs> not not even kind of. But... <laughs> <laughs> but it's just the fact that it reminds you of that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the progression of, of, again, getting through the world reminds me of that, just how you unlock things in the world. Again, I'm talking all about the open world. It's, yeah, yeah it, just, it feels like The Witcher 3 in that way. A lot well, of question is... marks on your map, like you have chicken pox. So. Well, I'm, I'm just ecstatic that it made your list, because that's fucking crazy for a, um, you know, um, a Assassin's Ask Creed, Creed game. Yeah. An Ask Creed game. Yep. So, I think that... Does that bring us to our number one? I think it does. That doozies, yeah. That we can go to number ones. I'm first, and this is, like, totally obvious now because we pushed it earlier, uh, but it's Uncharted The Lost Legacy. What a... Oh, my God. What a Sony pony try whatever the other <laughs> things that people say in that group. Uh, I've heard oh, things man. in that group I've never heard people call each other before. I'm like... Like, what? I put Nintendo shit in here, and I put nothing but Sony and Nintendo shit in here. Who am I? Yeah, right. Oh, man. I don't have a single Xbox game on here either. Yeah, people yeah. are like, you, you fucking Xbox hater. Uh, whatever. Literally, so they well, release games, an exclusive. You know? You know, yeah, that's... it'd be awesome if they put out games. <laughs> yeah, That'd be exactly. cool. I'd be you know really what? pumped about that. It, they'd be on my list if I they put they out canceled you know, more games, games than they released this year. <laughs> Uh, they put out more consoles than games. Yeah, they sure did. They put uh, out two fucking consoles in 2017. I, oh, no. I said they canceled more games than they released. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yeah, but I'm right, too. They, they put, they, they put that out is two accurate, consoles though. this year, yeah. and they put out, like, one game. I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's wrong. But Forza, in, Halo in Wars Cuphead. 2, that's oh, it. Oh, that doesn't count. That's it, though, right? Yeah, those three. That's it. Uh, and then uh, they canceled fucking Dragon, whatever the fuck it was that I was super hyped about. Dude, yeah, Platinum Games again, you yeah. know? Fuck We're going to get some what? cool fucking near style fantasy game with dragons. And they're like, no, nah, we don't want that anymore. Yeah, yeah. We don't fuck want off. success. Oh, really? fuck. Ew. Success? Ew. God. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> Everyone was so hyped for that game. And you're, they're like, eh, no, yeah. no one's really excited. <laughs> yeah, come on. Who were they kidding? Uh, but yeah, Uncharted Lost Legacy, though. Uh, I mean, look, I'm pretty biased in terms of what medium I prefer. I love movies, and this was pretty much just a movie. Uh, sure, you're controlling a character through, obviously, I mean, yes, you are controlling a character. It's a third-person game, and kind of a platformer uh, in a lot of respects, and also a shooter. 
and I love the adventure aspect of the game and set pieces and stuff like that. But it's literally you're literally controlling a movie though. Like that's the craziest, especially in that last mission. Like you're it's a movie. Like <laughs> you're literally in an action scene. You're in Mad Max Fury Road, but it's like on a train, and you're jumping from vehicle to, to train to whatever back and forth fighting people climbing the train as it's falling apart and shit yeah and it's just fucking nuts like it's the best action sequence in yes. all the series it's <laughs> fucking nuts dude like it's really and it's really just the greatest game. hits because like all those things you've done in all the previous games they uh-huh. just did it all in one set piece so yeah, it was really cool look, to if it works it works and it totally yeah. fucking works <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and for them to cram it all into one sequence, yeah, exactly. Too, it's makes just like, it man, and like now I'm getting dragged like I was in four, but yeah. now it's like two because I'm on a train, and now yeah. wow, like. <laughs> it's so rad, dude. Oh my god, uh, it's just I just would never expect to get this out of a video game, even to date. Like even though they've done it before, it still wows me every single time. Um, and for it to do that for me with secondary characters <laughs> from a yeah. beloved series. Uh, which they totally become their own people by the end of this game. Like, it's just... And Chloe wasn't even in for so you were probably yeah. like, who the fuck is this? Yeah, I was totally like, I heard her by name, but I was yeah. just kind of like, okay, I don't know. I don't yeah, know who, she was in okay, 2 and 3 is. a lot, uh, but yeah, you were probably yeah. like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, they, they name-dropped her in 4. Um, yeah. He talks about when he's exploring his attic full of all of his, uh, all of his uh, trophies or whatever you want to call them, uh, artifacts, and he's like, oh, mm-hmm. me and Chloe had a good time, and I'm like, who the fuck is that? <laughs> That's his other squeeze. <laughs> uh, he fucked her. Um, so yeah, yeah it <laughs> I like that they added. It. I assume they didn't add the father daughter dynamic, like the the backstory that she had and and no, Lost not, you didn't know anything about her until this game. Okay, well you that, just knew her as like the badass chick. Well, that makes it even the thing. Like they never yeah. really fleshed her out, but you were never like, oh, she's such a hollow character. Mm-hmm. She isn't. You just like she's mysterious. You know, she she's withheld and. Yeah withdrawn and stuff like that and she's still despite exploring those aspects of her story still feels like that more or less yeah. even though you know that stuff about her father i don't know it's just something about like what drives her that kind of remains a little bit of a mystery um yeah uh not that she has no motivations but how badass she is <laughs> i'm just talking yeah. about that you're just kind of like she's just a badass because she's a badass that's it that's it that's all there is to it uh, but, uh, yeah, I did love that, uh, having more depth to that character. And I did almost get like a little bit choked up when she started like talking about her dad, uh, midway through the game. There's a point where she talks about her dad and, um, I don't know, something about it just got to me. And she's like talking to, uh, her reluctant partner whose name I always forget. Um, who's that girl? Like who's the other girl? That's like, her you're like, I don't know what it is. I'm like, come on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> come on, Jeff. It's clearly so-and-so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to look it up because uh, yeah, I she's she's an awesome companion for Chloe. Like she's super awesome, yeah. yeah. Uh, they play so well off each other, maybe, and their relationship from like you know. uh, this is just business to like they actually care about each other at the end is yeah. awesome. Such a cool journey. And spoilers for the next like minute or so, but including Sam in this game too totally caught me. Yeah, off I didn't totally read any spoilers. About I was just this. like, oh man, it's a Drake dude. Yeah. <laughs> And that was awesome. And to have that history already embedded in the game to where Nadine sees him and goes, Chloe, go fuck yourself. And she's like pretty much done with her and pursuing sure. this on her own. So now yeah. it's like a three person hunt for this, uh, uh, for this, whatever this artifact was that they're looking for. Um, but she was not happy. Nadine. No, no, not at all. That and I'm, I'm knowing yeah. what we know. Uh, I'm like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> well, and they, and they drop it a few times and it's like, oh, what happened to your company? And she's like, those fucking Drake brothers, you know? And yeah. Chloe could have been like, uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, but so she did purposely, you know? yeah, I would be mad too. Yeah, like, totally. Holding that for that long. These people destroyed my father's legacy yeah. and my legacy, like my, everything that like our family stood for, this company, you yeah. know? And I like that Nadine had a vendetta against like the top guy that was, uh, that took over her, her company. Yeah. Um, Oh, me too. Yeah, he had more of a story, backstory, whatever than the villain did in this in this game. Like the villain was is totally underwritten and underserved. Very hollow, opinion. which yeah. is weird for the series. Well, not really. I guess a lot of them are kind of hollow. The villains they kind yeah. of suffer from villainitis, I guess. Like he looked um, like a nerd, but he could fight. So congratulations. Like <laughs> yeah, that was like that was his depth, which I thought they already did in the last game. You know, in four, like that well, guy he, was like a nerdy was... like cunt. You know, like. He did look more know. imposing though in the last game because he was kind of like a James Bond slick ass 
Oh, I guess Weasley so. Weasley motherfucker. But yeah, but he also knew all of his like history and stuff. So I'm like, fucking nerd. Um, <laughs> he wasn't. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. But that, this guy like rolls up his sleeves and has glasses on, and yeah. Like, oh, hey, you know, uh, like, yeah, you can fucking beat your, you can beat the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah. Um, man, and he beats the shit out of both you and like Nadine whenever and it's, you're. Yeah. yeah it's, it's a great yeah, fight too, yeah. but like it just kind of comes out of nowhere for that character. So it would have been nice to see some type of. Oh, and his that. his uh, big plan. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna just drive a nuke on a train into the city. Really stupid. <laughs> Fucking really. St- I don't. Why? I don't, I don't, I'm a bad guy. <laughs> For God, I'm trying to remember specifics, but I think it's to incite a war, right? Sure. So they can yeah, profit from just, it. It's such a stupid way. I don't. I'm gonna put a nuke on a train. Like you know what they did? They did that in the movie called Arrow, which fucking Bro- Broken Arrow. Yeah. yeah, Broken Arrow. Thank with, uh, you. With John Travolta fucking, and Christian Yeah, Slater. John Travolta. John Tra- I mean, like, you know, that, that it's a really fucking stupid idea, is, is. is my point. You know, it's, it's an underwritten undercut. Plan. I don't know. How yeah. are we going to get this this story on a train so we can have a big yeah. set piece? That's literally what that says to me. Uh, which is fine. I'm glad we have that set piece. Oh, but, yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. When, they, they, when they you're had to write that train, something you're never asking on. that question. You're never like, who would fucking decide this? You're just like, oh, this is so awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> it's oh, so no, cool. I'm going to have to jump onto a Jeep. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I died awesome. at least four times during that one part, like that entire last mission there. I was just like all over the place going, where do I go from here? Oh, you can climb up this? It's so yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then by the time you find out what you can climb, you're dead. Uh yeah. It's, I love that about the Uncharted game, though. It keeps you guessing. Uh, yeah, it's just, again, if you put it in, the, in a format, I can understand and totally get lost in Legacy. Lost Legacy. Uh, yeah. Get it? More of that, please. Uh, if you can put it in a format, which is like movies, basically. You're, you're literally just controlling a movie. Uh, more of that. And uh, yeah. that's, that's what I'm all about. That's, that's why South Park is up there. That's why Persona 5 is up there. Last Day of June strikes me as that, too. Um, Super Mario is just more. It's just nostalgia, guys. That's why I love that game. Nostalgia, nostalgia, it's all nostalgia. Nostalgia, Nintendo. I, I didn't want to say anything, yeah. but clearly, nostalgia, yeah. nin, nin, nostalgia. I can't. The Legend of Nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that the game we're about to talk about? Uh, uh yeah. I mean, that's uh, yeah. <laughs> so, is that your number one? What's your number? That one? That is my huh? number one. Yeah, oh, okay. The Legend of Nostalgia: Breath of the Childhood. <laughs> um, God. I have never in my entire life seen so much fucking shade thrown towards the game. Just like it's the yeah, that's all you, that's the you're treatment. so blinded by your childhood that yeah. you'll just take anything, even a completely empty world, as long as it's dressed up as a nice, fancy open world like new Western RPG games are. Like, did you really just say that to me? I want to yeah. smack you in your mouth. <laughs> like, I want to smack you in your stupid mouth. <laughs> Um, oh man, yeah, this game is amazing. It doesn't make me feel bad at all that it's like, oh, that's, oh, what, how, how, oh, I saw that coming. Zelda's your number one. Yeah, it's the best game that came out this year. It's like, objectively, I would even say. Yeah, I, uh, dude, that's why I was know, on my list for so long. I was like, objectively, I'm kind of like obligated to put it in here, right? That's fucking good. Um, yeah. When I hold something metal in my hand, lightning comes down and strikes me in the middle of a thunderstorm. How crazy is that? Um, no, but people want people want to talk about how other stupid shit in that game. Oh, there's no dungeons. Yeah, it's not the other Zelda games. Go play those. <laughs> you know, they're doing something different here. Right. They're trying to do something new. Uh, let them do that. And plus, there's like a thousand shrines. Go do those. Those are many dungeons. Ugh. Um, so much, so much shade, man. Um, I never not. I was never not having fun while playing this game, and it's such a treasure to. Ex- it's the most fun open world game to explore mm-hmm. because even if you turn a bend. And you see something that's eye just just so eye dropping beautiful, and it's so gorgeous. It's jaw dropping. I don't know how you drop your eye. Jaw dropping beautiful. <laughs> you know, it's so beautiful. Um, and there's nothing there for you. It's just something for you to look at. That you take something away from that. Right. I don't know. There's not an en- there's not an enemy to fight there. There's not a chest there. But you're like, man, look at this vista by the lake or this mountain range or whatever. And it's just like, oh, man, I would have never seen this thing if I didn't make this turn right here or go deep into the woods here or whatever there's always some hidden stuff somewhere that's just because there's nothing marked on the map you mark the map yourself like you're filling out the map with your the icons you choose and stuff like that as you choose so you have to just find everything on your own you know it's so rewarding like to stumble upon these things yeah i found a giant maze in the desert before anybody in my house did and they're like what do you mean a giant maze i'm like a maze so big i have no idea how no one has seen it because you wouldn't see it unless (laughs) you're flying over it Holy shit. You would, it, it would just look like rocks. Like, you know, it just looked like a mountain range or something like that. Like this giant 
you, I can't even tell you how. Like, if you fell off from the top of the maze wall onto the ground, your character would die. That's how yeah. long of a drop it is. Like, That's fucking nuts, dude. Yeah, and, like, I was just like, how did no one know this was here? It's a fucking one-mile-large maze, you know? <laughs> like... <laughs> And you would only know if you were flying above it at that particular time, you know. And so I was just like, I don't know. We'll have to go back down there and find it. And I marked it on the map and showed everybody in my house. And they all found it themselves. And then everyone else started finding other mazes. There's four other mazes or three other mazes, that entire thing, and in the other regions. And I'm like, this game's amazing. I mean, like, you know, like, a hundred hours in, I'm just finding a fucking giant maze, you know? Like, mm-hmm. I, it's crazy, you know? Like, it's crazy the things that hide in plain sight in that game. Yeah, um, man, I wish I. Uh, God damn it! Now I wish. God damn it! I'm never getting rid of the game. It's not a game you get rid of when you no. haven't even touched it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, something that's immediately striking about the game is obviously just the visual palette and stuff like that, um, and how colorful it is. But yeah, like you said, the map when you open it, you're like, well, where do I go? Oh, you just kind of have to figure it out. You know? Yeah, I'm really glad they give you that first area just to like. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> Let us teach you a few things first. Feel, it's not too overwhelming the, the that first area, but there no, is no, not at a all. Lot you really explore. get it, and by the time yeah. you get your uh, blanket that allows you to float or whatever your glider, yeah, not a blanket, it's a glider. <laughs> but uh, uh, <laughs> you know, your you know like that allowed you to yeah, fly. exactly your Icarus sandals. <laughs> uh, you um, you're able like you're ready. You're ready to tackle the world by that point. Yeah. You know, you're like, what's over there? I'm gonna go over there, and then you get fucking tromped by something. You know, but it's it's cool. It's a lot of fun. Um, oh, dude, it's totally game of the year. You can climb up any surface in this entire game. Now, I know people get enraged when yeah. that's like a main point that you're trying to make about this game is good. Uh, why is that not a valid point to make? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that. That's yeah, it's like in no other game. Oh, you could do it in Uncharted and Assassin's Creed. No, you can't. Like this, you really no, you can't. can't. No, no, it not has like to this. be guided. Like you have to have that hole there in Uncharted, especially. It's just not possible in other games. And that's like, other people don't like, you yeah. know, like man, like the game is called the Breath of the Wild. Like the Wild is like the end, like it's half, it's half of the survival of this game. Mm-hmm. So when people are like, when it starts raining and I'm on the side of a mountain and I slip down because I can't hold on to the side of the mountain, it's just cheap. I'm like cheap or real? Because yeah, it seems that's like that would really happen. You want you know, it to be like, fake then? Like you want it to be like, yeah, oh, that's like, not authentic. <laughs> like I don't know. Like and maybe they just want it to be easier because it's just like inconvenient. But like. Yeah. When a storm starts naturally rolling in, when I'm on the side of a mountain, it's exhilarating for me. I'm like, ooh, I better fucking pick up ass. You know, I better haul ass up this fucking mountain or whatever. Uh, and then you just have to start thinking about the lightning coming down on you, you know? And it's just like you have to start thinking about all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Am, I, am I standing in water in this lightning storm? Probably better not be. Um, and, th- and that type of stuff is really interesting. Ooh, I better put up all this metal stuff and take out my wood stuff, you know, so I don't get shocked. Um, oh no, I'm fighting a fire enemy now and I have my wood stuff out and now it's all burnt and not here anymore. You know, right. it's just like, it's so cool, man. Oh, I'm in an area I'm too cold. I have to concoct a potion or get new gear to like, so I can stand the elements here. Like, yeah. the, 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 the wild is the enemy. <laughs> not the yeah. enemy, that's the wrong way to put it. It is the adversary, you know, like mm-hmm. you're, you're competing against it constantly. And that's what's awesome about it. The only thing I have bad to say about this entire game is, is the story has never been more absent. In a, mm. in a series where the story has always been absent. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how you that negate a story. Yeah. Like when no story ever really exists. And there all are stories in Zelda games. They're just always kind of periphery stories, you know? Yeah, it kind of sounds like Mario in a sense. I mean, the, where, I, yeah, it's more setting, you know? Hey, yeah. the Zelda's you missing. Go You're going to go through these yeah. trials, you know? Like, But mm-hmm. there's not like a narrative where like people are like talking to you. Twilight Princess withstanding, you know, it was kind of narrative heavy. Yeah. Um, you know, but like, uh, and I think maybe that's the thing, the new Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword, they, you know, those are probably a little more narrative based, Majora's Mask and stuff, so maybe I was expecting a little too much, but like, right. they keep on bringing up Ganon, and he's more of just a force of nature, it's never someone you meet, you know, mm-hmm. and that's kind of a bummer. You fight Ganon at the end, spoilers, I guess, but like, it's... It's not well, it's like, like me saying I don't know, you fight like, Bowser at the end of fucking Yeah, I know. That's funny. You fight Donkey Kong at the end. Um, so, <laughs> uh, I'd play that game. <laughs> yeah, I would too, actually. <laughs> when you said you fight Peach, uh, you know, I'm like, like, are they going to make that game now? <laughs> like Dark I kinda, Mario? I was always waiting for like the cutscenes to, to, to unravel into something bigger or more, and it's just not. And I'm like, man, this is the series that you bring talking into for the first time, like real talking, like yeah. voice out over stuff. And you don't even have a story to tell. Like, why even do that then? You know, that's <laughs> like, a, yeah, that's a good you could have just left them not talk at all, and like, no one would have had any say in that otherwise. You know, but mm-hmm. uh, I, if that's really the only issue I have with that game. And I was never thinking about that while playing the game. That's hindsight stuff. 
Yeah. Um, you know. If we could include things in our top ten list, I'm pretty sure Nintendo Switch won the year. Like, Nintendo won the year. Nintendo Switch is the number one thing of the year. Yes. 100%. Like, it is like the coolest thing of the last five years, maybe. <laughs> absolutely. Like, I mean, that's that's the entire reason. The entire reason I got a Switch was because of Zelda, but uh, I didn't end up playing a lot of it. But still, <laughs> but Mario. still, it matter. Yeah, I played a ton of Mario, but the the entire idea of the console and the fact that it worked, like, yeah, proof of just, concept. <laughs> yes, it's just so fucking incredibly uh, needed. Like, it's just. Who, why didn't anybody think of that? Like, we should just yeah. make it portable. Like, clearly, well, they've been trying to do it for more. so long, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, the Vita is just a portable PS3, and yeah. it connects to your PS3, but it's not really a PS3, and it didn't really sell well. Okay, the Wii U is like a portable, like, screen, but it doesn't really go further than 20 inches away from your screen. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, and it's just like, yeah. yeah. Was the technology not here until now? I don't mm-hmm. know. Like, but man, I hope everybody copies this. I hope PS5 is like. Yeah. And people were so fond of people in the industry that is are so fond of the Switch as an idea that they are putting their games on it too. Like you have Bethesda yeah. putting their games on it, and that's a fucking big deal, man. Um, Dude, Nintendo. Remember that thing really I shared that. the other day? The, the rumors of Rockstar putting their stuff on it. We might be getting Red Dead and GTA yeah. Five heavy rumors. Well, the fact that they put LA stuff, Noir on it is telling. Is big. Already, you it's know, like big, it's very telling. Yeah. That's Rockstar, baby. Like that's they don't like just put their shit on water. anything. Yeah, um, testing the water big time. Yeah, yeah. dude, it's. God, it's an exciting time to be a gamer because of the Switch. Like, I mean, seriously. Uh, well, and the Xbox One X is is fucking awesome in theory, but there's just <sighs> the lack of exclusives playing? does hurt yeah. that, regardless of what Xbox fans say. Like, it just does. Um, Dude, but my Gears of War that came out two years ago looks so fucking good. Yeah, God. exactly. Like, I don't care. Ugh, like, yeah. <laughs> come on, man. Give me something new that you're supposed to launch with the console. Shit. Bro, dude, if you go back and play Halo 5, which came out three years ago, it looks unlike it did before. <laughs> yeah, it's on a new... Se- <sighs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, but that's it for games in 2017, one of the best years of gaming ever. Um and I think we had a diverse enough list to cover a yeah. majority of the good games. I honestly didn't have any that were like exceptionally offensively bad to even mention as a dishonorable mention. Me um, neither. Uh, For Honor, the biggest disappointment of the year for me. Oh, okay. That's all I can say about that. Yeah, but disappointment, not necessarily like that's the worst game ever, right? No, like, not, it's, it's not yeah. worth, you know, by any stretch of the imagination. Just, mm-hmm. I have, you know, a game about samurai and uh, knights and viking. You think I'd be buying that game and playing it year yeah, round? I feel like I'm you just, would be having. I played a, the a beta like and I was just like, "Yeah, I get this. I don't think I'm gonna get it though." <laughs> yeah, I played that too. And I was just yeah. kind of like, I, I I'm foresee not good at this. getting really good at this game, <laughs> me not being good enough to keep up. So yeah, yeah pass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but that's it for games. So next week, uh, we're going to talk about 2017 movies and in our top 10 of, of that. Uh, sh- I know we're late. Shut up. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're going to talk about our top. Whatever. We're, we're JD's going to be back. We're all three of us going to talk about our top 10. And uh, we'll somehow manage to keep it under three hours. I don't know how we're going to do it. <laughs> and uh, so stay tuned for that. And I will have some dishonorable mentions for that. That's for fucking sure. Jesus Christ. Uh, not Not an overwhelming amount, which is what's surprising about the year. Like, you would expect the amount of movies I've seen, I'd be like, I have 10 dishonorable mentions. No, I have, like, four. Wow. Um, Really strong year for all mediums, but, yeah, gaming and movies especially. Well, I mean, I should throw in TV, man, because holy shit, look at all the all the shows, like I said in the last episode, I had to cut were just heartbreaking. Like, holy shit, I didn't even get to mention uh, there was some in year 10 that I, since 8, didn't even have it in my honorable mentions. I didn't have room for it, you know? Um, yeah. Movies are very similar, where... There's so many. It's a deep fucking year for movies, and I'm not. We're not going to get to talk about a lot of them, and that sucks. That really sucks. Yeah. But it's a good problem to have. Um, thanks, uh, thanks creators. Thanks, thanks you guys. guys. You guys are really <laughs> doing well right now. Uh, everyone, step forward. You think they did great this year? Not so fast, EA. <laughs> you killed Sit off back, Mass Xbox. Effect, and you somehow like <laughs> tarnished the brand of Star Wars. Even though I like the game just fine, but everyone yep. hates it now. And I think that everyone hates Last Jedi because of you. So yeah, there you go. They, Put they that pass, on your shoulders. They pass the buck on the hate. That's what yeah. <laughs> you know what? Last Jedi. There's loot boxes in that, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why people didn't like it. They didn't buy the right loot boxes. So. <laughs> right. Um, they, they were like Finn. Maybe should have just bought the right loot boxes, and he would have been fine. Um, yeah, his mission would have been... Oh, never mind. We can't go into spoilers. Fuck it. Oh, we can't. Because uh, Finn dies, everybody. Finn dies. All right, yeah, Finn so... dies, and uh, Rose is the new Finn, so <laughs> hope you like Rose. Oh, god damn it. 
People would lose their shit if that was the case. Oh, man, there's some Rose haters out there. All right. There are some major Rose yeah. haters out there. <laughs> we're we're going to talk about Last Jedi next episode. That's for fucking sure. Because uh, one of us, at least, at the least, three, three at the most, and that's likely, are going to have Last Jedi on their 10. Um, we absolutely are. Just spoilers on that, I guess. So look forward to the defending of that. Um, and three billboards. I got some shit to get off my chest about that shit. Man, I didn't realize all this stuff was going on, man. I was like, oh, I thought we were just all agreeing that this movie was good. No, <laughs> the internet had other plans. <laughs> right. And then I, when I take my conversation to Facebook about it, it's a totally different environment. Like, it's a totally different uh, feel. Like, people are coming forward going, yeah, I saw the hate on Twitter. I think it's fucking absurd. Like, because of this, this, and this. And they eloquently state the reasoning for loving three billboards. But on Twitter, it's just people in 240 characters or less trying to come up with a quippy reason to hate on three billboards and misunderstand it completely. So yeah. that's my opinion on it, at least. I'm I sorry if you're one of those haters. So I don't like that movie. Do what? It's like, I don't support racism, so I don't like that movie. It's nobody, stuff like that. Nobody supports racism in that movie. <laughs> yeah. uh, but whatever, that's fine. That's <laughs> fine. You're fine. Just don't come at me like I'm a racist because I like that movie or something. That's ridiculous. It's not like it's fucking Birth of a Nation from 1930, whatever. That racist as fuck, like blackface movie, oh, stereotyping black people with the KKK as the heroes and shit. Oh, never mind. It's not like no, no. You're not thinking of the one from last year. No, that movie's actually good. Uh, no, 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 no. The one that like Disney buried in their vaults like in the 20s or 30s. Oh, or whatever. that one is the one with Zippity Doodah. What's the name? Yeah. Of that? Uh, I forget the name of that movie, but it's got Zippity Doodah and, and it's fucking racist as shit. Like the only song that that, that that's like survived that movie, and that movie's like buried in the hearts <laughs> yeah, of Disney. They're the like, we didn't do a racist it. movie where everyone's like, "Hey, mammy." No, we didn't do that. <laughs> How is Dumbo not buried by this point? Uh, <laughs> racist as crows. Oh, oh god. god, I'm th- pretty sure one of them was named Jim too. That's not racist at all. Uh, <laughs> fucking disney man problematic as fuck that goddamn studio in the early goings anyway stay tuned for next week that conversation and then for in spirit of the grammys which probably don't have any good music i think is worth mentioning in my opinion we're going to talk about our top 10 1998 songs since you know it's 20 years since night 20 years since fucking 1998 wrap your head around that people i can't and i won't and yeah, i don't I refuse. want to i refuse will smith was a big deal then and he still is in my mind uh, Come on, MRB. No, he's not. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, but uh, we're, we're going to talk about music from that time because the music from now is just kind of hard to appreciate on the radio, at least. Uh, whatever. Anyway, so stay tuned for that. Uh, Jeff Witty on Twitter, W I D D Y. And we're all on Letterboxd, too, if you all want to follow us for the movie shit. Uh, I wish there was a gaming for Letterboxd. That would have been amazing. Uh, Letterboxd for gaming, I should say. Um, I know there's like a bunch of websites for backlogs, but I really need a fucking letterbox. Yeah, I want a letterbox specifically, yeah, not exactly. a backlog manager. Uh, so uh, stay tuned for all the fun stuff we got coming out. And uh, Kyle, you're uh, subcultured. You started yeah. writing again. Yeah, I'm writing stuff again. Uh, you know, like some mini reviews so you can get in there real quick from non-spoiler review like stuff. Uh, and I'm streaming every week. We're going to do Sims one more time. Maybe two more times. It just depends on how much we can get out of it, man. You know, it's just you can only fuck your neighbor so many times before you're like, okay. <laughs> So next week we're going to do something else, right? <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, catch me on Wednesdays on my stream there yeah. uh, at uh, Subcultured. Uh, uh, that's the tagline. We got Subcultured on everything. On Twitch, there's right? No, yeah. There's no, and YouTube. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So the only thing with Fuck the dash, the dash in dash. it is our website. So yeah, I think the, without the dash, it directs to a, a sandwich place. I think. I'm okay with that. Because sub sandwiches or whatever? It's, yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you guys will have a presence at uh, PAX South this year, which is cool. Yes, we will. That's kind of fun. And uh, we uh, may be doing a anime convention here in Denver here in March. So. Oh, cool. The one that you went to? Uh... Yeah, a different one. A oh, different, different one. one. Holy shit. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah. Uh, so go to that website. Check out that stuff and the streaming and stuff. And uh, I'm not writing anything, so don't ask me. And uh, just go to my Twitter and harass me because I love it when people do that. I love Twitter right now. Hashtag sarcasm. Uh, So see you guys later. Bye.